go. Oh, that yeah. bitch on Figaro acting like she hey. on hoe. I'm watch her with the swear words. Oh. Wait, you can't say that one. No. Watch her with the B word, buddy. Rock, watch it with that word, guys. I thought you had a Waffle House hat on. That's an awful lot of cough syrup. That's an awful lot of Waffle House. I think he did that flip already. Well, not official, not, yeah, not yeah, in yeah. partnership with yeah. the brand. No, 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 definitely not. But damn, you know what he should do? That's an awful lot of Roscoe's. Mm. You think Roscoe's is open to collaborations? That's Why would they not Cocos. be? Can we what get was... quiet on the set? Quiet on the set, guys. They're having a little sewing circle over there. What does that mean? Talking about sewing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like some like weird. I've, I've like, never seen women just sewing. Listen, yeah, I thought that was like some speech. weird, some weird black girl analogy or something. It's a figure something. of speech. They, that's what women would do back in the day. They would get together, they would sew, and they would talk s h i t about each other. Back in your day? Not in my day necessarily. What about the book club? <laughs> oh, back, my mom has been in many book clubs. Back in the nineteen tens. That's how she still makes friends. She moves to town. She joins a book club. Really? Or they go there and just talk about their husbands. I think for her, that's probably less of a thing. <laughs> you just think that because it's your dad. That's no, what I think because like once you're postmenopausal, you probably like lose in, <laughs> you lose interest in relationships to a certain extent. Um, don't you weak. think? Didn't Wait, didn't you want to pop it? Didn't your parents move here? Well, you know, um, <laughs> my parents did move here. Yeah, like not that long ago, right? My mom joined a book club, and that's the first thing she did when she got off the plane. You don't think your parents still get cracking? Their son do porn. This is crazy. Their horny gene comes from from them. Listen, Bro. I hope they do. <laughs> Why are we talking about Given this? my dad's energy levels I'm not optimistic He's using it just one yeah, time a day yeah, That's yeah. all he gotta do If I find a honey he pack said, in his bedroom yo! I'm gonna be pissed What would you do if you found a rubber And your parents Why would, he, why would they need a rubber Probably try it on <laughs> <laughs> If it fits If it fits you must have quit You know what else fits Fashion Nova, Nova pants. I got some Fashion Nova shorts on right now And they feel amazing I'm not gonna lie to you This might be your drippiest fit like I try to always have one Fashion Nova item on. Yeah, usually it's your black socks. Usually. Mm -hmm. Anyway, shout out to Fashion Nova. Um, is your drippiest fit? Back to my parents having sex. Yeah, let's yeah, talk about let's it. Let's talk get about into it. it. Yeah, but I have a video on my phone. You want to see? No, well, your what? parents. My parents hooking up. What the fuck is Are wrong you with you? No, obviously not. <laughs> I'm about to say. <laughs> you probably like let up. Let up. The title is going to be amazing. Let's monetize it. Check this out. You are fucking disgusting. I'm going to be real with you. I feel like your mom is such a nice lady. Your fit today is kind of like Glasses Malone if he was into dudes. <laughs> what? Don't what? put that on Gina. That, I, no, and don't put that on, on me him. either. I'm just oh, putting yeah, it on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's just a template for what I'm talking about. I, I, I got mad love him. Hopefully he doesn't feel like that's a stray or anything. So you just. That's a stray. You just called me Gay Malone? <laughs> well. Wow. <laughs> that, that would be a pretty hard name. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you just called me. <laughs> Gazus Malone. Huh? No offense. No. Yeah, but. Have you guys seen uh, Almighty Suspect on uh, Monday? I didn't see this Monday. They're saying. I've seen him on your show. They're saying he's like a little bit wilder T Rail. Wilder T Rail. A little bit. bit, bit he's, he's just wild with like, you know, some oh, of the yeah. rants he goes on talking about everything is gay. And I mean, stuff. that's gay is his thing. He does kind of remind me of T Rail. Especially in the way that he, he is already so comfortable hating on Flacco. <laughs> that don't need to be the thing, though. Yeah. I know. I almost want to, like, let him know. Like, like hey, everybody, maybe, like, a little less contentious. Because he's yeah. really, like, shitting on, like, blasting him. But Flacco loves him. If if uh, if it's a good balance, then keep him. Mm. Flacco's going to call him, like, the, the best West Coast rapper there ever was. Oh, yeah, he's going to do gonna some dick like, riding like that, gonna, yeah, for sure. I don't know what kind of dick riding remark he has already made to him. But, no, I mean, I watched the first hour of the Monday show. I got to keep watching the rest of it. But th I have seen a lot of comments and stuff saying that they like the dynamics, so that that might. Of, of uh, Almighty Suspect and them or both of the people? I'm not sure. I know sure. it was two people. But the, the Suspect comments are super good. I actually just did an interview with Sadie Nash. Mm. Really? Yes. That's lit. I honestly always thought that um, – that suspect was fucking hilarious. So it's, it's oh, good. Oh, that to nigga see, funny, bro. It's good to see him on uh, that on whole camera. Gay rant is 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 hilarious. Classic. Even no, as a honest, gay activist, gay. Okay. you could enjoy it. Even as a gay activist, that's, that's big. Gay. Okay, if we being honest, like I was very surprised that Gina views had never seen. This clip. she never seen Lil Wayne kiss Birdman. I'm like, you are yeah. such a fake hip-hop fan. Like, how are you Miss Mrs. Hip-Hop? That's like not knowing who Jay-Z is. <laughs> Damn. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if Duno's in here. I don't think so. I don't think Duno. Bro, because Duno was like fucking 
like two years old. Duno probably came. rubbed one out to it. Duno was literally like two when that, that happened. That just lets you know like how great Little Wayne's career has been because people were just like, oh, we don't care. I I just bro no the, the the one where he specifically kissed him on 106 in Park right I was looking for that and I couldn't find Can it. Can you just at least admit you made a song? No, it does. You made a song called Bro Top. Facts, but yeah, you're, you're actually gay. Yeah, yeah. but uh, can you just admit? I didn't make that a song. Can you admit? I didn't make admit, that a song, by the way. Just admit for okay. one moment in time. You don't have to keep saying this after the fact, but just admit that what that it was kind of hard that he kissed the smooch. It was kind of like it, it was something gangster about it. It was some mob uh, boss uh, shit because the Italian. That's where you got they got it right because that's what the nah, fucking mafia does on, on the mouth. Mob. The mob. They, they did not each kiss each other yes, on the mouth. Do. The it's mob, in the, the Godfather mob, and the shit, mob, dude. Do oh, I didn't know that. That's how I took it. Is like I thought we, it was on the cheek. We are so they do be doing. We're so gangster and we're so not worried about being called gay. That we're gonna smooch each other on the list. You would love that. You would love that. I mean, but Turk, Turk spoke about it, and he said they all used to do that shit. It wasn't gay to them. That's what I'm saying. I mean, they all used to kiss each other. I ain't gonna say the whole conglomerate, but he said like they weren't gay. <laughs> this is he crazy. Okay, they you could gay. kiss your kid up until I mean, whatever age you feel I'm not like. Kissing, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not kissing my son in middle school. I'm sorry. Huh? Okay, yeah. I I feel like what like five like five is like maybe stop kissing the kid. Listen, I don't is that too know. long? I haven't. No, that it's too definitely long? not too long. Okay, I think you can kiss him past that realistically on what? some f f fatherly love. In the mouth, yeah. Shit. yeah, and yeah. I mean, a little smooch, like a little, a little peck. I mean, honestly though, it it does start to feel weird at a certain point. I would probably just go forehead or cheek. Yeah, yeah. Like you know? that's what? that's just like that's my simple. son is three. I can't, I can't see me like kissing him. Yeah, a couple years. I from felt now. that. Like nah. Mm. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't got kids, so I'm like, I'm just going off of what y'all say. Let's be real. The reason why it's weird is because a kiss has multiple meanings. There's the kiss that you do on a cheek or mm -hmm. to a loved one or to your mom on the forehead, whatever. To the homies. I <laughs> see, right? <laughs> and then there's and then there's kissing. There's making yeah. out, like the thing that you only do with a person that you are sleeping with. Yeah. And so that's why, like, I'm giggling. AD's talking about kissing his kid, and I'm still kind of giggling <laughs> yeah, right. because it's the same word for a thing that is very, very different in different contexts, right? But look, okay, I think the Lil Wayne shit is, is like, looked at so weird because it's not his actual dad. I he damn near raised him, though. But that's what they were saying. They were saying, we are so mafia gangster. Shit. That we will smooch each other. What happened, Gina? I never said I come here, come here. No, don't come okay. here. Just tell us. She didn't know about it until she saw the video. Well, that's what. I yeah. Thought it was like the Sierra thing. You thought Sierra it was like thing? a rumor? Like you said, that's one of the things part two. Oh, so she thought it no, was a tall tale. Gina's voice is out. That shit exists, though. I've seen it. She thought it was a tall tale. She thought that they didn't really smooch. There, there, listen, I, I can mean, find it if I really There was look. a lot of tall tales. She thought it was like Britney Spears with the 13 types of cum in her belly. No, huh? they said that about Lil' Kim. Oh, see, maybe in Compton, but in, in, in Hash Brown <laughs> yeah. Town. Yeah, it wasn't Britney Wait, who was it? It was Britney so it was Spears? Same, it was the same shit. In, in Hash Brown Town, it was like, did you hear? Britney Spears had her stomach pumped, and they found They said that oh, about Lil' Kim. They said, they said that about Lil' Kim, for sure. For some reason, that rumor was just irresistible to young people during the 90s. Wow, well, yeah, gentrified it? I think we... I'm, I'm oh, guessing yeah. you took it from us. We, we know about that. Right. The what? That... Sierra have multiple genitalia at the same Sierra time. Sierra does not. I seen that riding video. I said, no. What about Bow Wow getting molested? Was that, a, was that a rumor? Uh, I don't know. Chris Lighty? B2K definitely got molested, right? By I Chris, don't know. By Chris Lighty? I just remember as a young kid hearing that Bow Wow got molested as like a rumor that I never saw confirmed. I don't know about that, but let's keep it real. Behind the scenes, yeah, there's a lot it's of... definitely a lot, a lot of crazy of, stuff crazy, going on. Crazy, weird. A lot of molestation? Probably, bro. Think about what that. Do you know? Think about those. Who are you protecting? They were young. <laughs> Epstein. Nigga, <laughs> 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 if anything, Epstein is your goddamn dad. He got a pardon oh! for the motherfucker. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I don't think my dad knows Epstein for the record. Oh, oh he knows him. Hey, he was on the list. I should ask him right now. Did you ever go to the island? Hey, that was that was funny when Andrew Schultz was talking about that though. <laughs> he said that fucking Adam's dad was recruiting high Why school. Why you bringing up old shit? Fuck you, nigga. I the Vlad flashback. <laughs> 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 he don't like it his dad. That's why. Was yeah. that a soft spot he for you? He's yeah. just like that was Remember crazy. back in the day, two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today, all right. So let's. Remember, elephant, yes, elephant in the room. Let me let me uh -oh. tell you how this went down for me. Uh -oh. So, 
I shot my shot mm. well, last last weekend, not this weekend, the one before, and I DM'd the game, mm. Mm. and I said, and I said this blind because I saw he was doing a few interviews. I, I figured, why not? I'll shoot my shot. I said, yo, do an interview with me. It'll be the best interview you ever done. It'll shit on all these other interviews. Now, at that time, I had not seen any of the other interviews. So <laughs> I was really just saying that. You still feel that way. And No, because I actually watched Drink Champs, and that was that was good. That was a pretty good one. And then I watched Nelk, and it was like... He did Nelk? Yeah, it was more of a like bunch of random white kids asking game questions about his career that I already knew the answers to. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so he said, let's do it. So I started thinking, and I was actually with Josh. So Josh got to see my thought process. At first, I was like... I'm going to do it alone. Then I was like, no, I'm going to ask AD and T-Real to do it too. But mm. then I was like. Some reinforcements. Some reinforcements. Make me seem cooler. Then <laughs> I thought, well, I should ask him first. So mm. I asked him, and he said, I think we should do a one-on-one. Which then I, I was. Leave the I was niggas at home. I was immediately thankful that I didn't say it to you guys because that would have felt kind of scummy. Mm. Nah, I want to hit him up. But here I am telling you about it afterwards. Nah, that's, that's the homie like. Bro, that nigga put me on my first album ever. That's that's my my homie for life. Yeah, I honestly fact. think you know it was saying? like it was definitely one of the best interviews I ever did. Really, it was amazing. I, I rarely hear talk. you see that. If he wants to, if he ever wanted to do podcasting, he got a million stories. We did talk about it. Yeah. I said I said if you start podcasting, you'd be one of the top five rap podcasts right away. And for he sure. said I would be one of the top five podcasts. Period. Wow. <laughs> so he he's coming for Joe Rogan's title, but. Can we can we be honest? I'm I'm gonna pl play Flacco here. A lot of people be thinking that he be either over exaggerating stories. I'm not saying this from personal. Okay. I'm saying I've seen this be reiterated in comments and stuff like that. They will say that he's either over exaggerating a story or just completely making what, up stories. What story. did he exaggerate? What they say I don't that know. About? People people say that like like anytime I see a clip of him that I goes mean, viral. Some people say niggas be saying that shit. They say about, that about all. They of say us. that shit about me. They be like, oh, that nigga lying. I be like, bro, like that's that's one thing that I never. <laughs> no, I, I agree. Yeah. You feel me? You're just making shit up. That's what. Nah, I was nah, just like, bro. Some niggas live different type of lives, bro. Yeah, it's they like experience different stuff. So like certain shit, and, and let's let's be real. Some people do exaggerate certain stories, stuff like that. But bro, it'd that's be, a fact. It'd be like behind the scenes, bro. People be seeing shit and be living dope. And you gotta think. Dope. You gotta think about how long the game has been famous. Mm. How long he has been relevant. How long he like nigga. He came out the game his first. Like nigga, uh, that nigga at the had gate, the his West first Coast album was on his, when he came out. There was there the was only nobody. other competition that he had was Gorilla Black at the time. Mm. Like he grew up at a time <laughs> when there was no the West, it was no West Coast artist like out at all. Shout out to Gorilla Black, but he definitely blew. He went to jail. Blew that out of the water. Really? Yeah, Long that's what that's time. What, yeah, yeah. He For did, scamming. He, he did fat time. No way. Hell yeah. Nigga, remember, he had that barbershop on Rosecrans. Nigga. I yeah. was there every weekend. Nigga, it was, Kiki, so I was a little nigga. Kiki Pops used to work there. They really? They ran in that motherfucker. Remember we had that big no. argument about who was more popping at their hype? <laughs> Gorilla Black or AD? <laughs> <laughs> AD's like pulling up monthly listeners. Nah, I think he had, you, he had you beating monthly listeners from that no, one song. From sure. that one song? Or, or was it All you? Over the song to overall. I had more monthly listeners. I can't remember, but. Yeah. You, you definitely have more monthly listeners now if you didn't. I mean, Gorilla Black was signed. I still do 100K. It's a different facts, different level. Bro, honestly, I had to put some respect on AD's name one time because you know how the fans, you know the fans be trying to like put nigga like like this is when we first met, and I was thinking I was like I was like I was like I got more uh, streams or some shit than, than that nigga, some shit like that. I must have looked at bro Spotify and I was like never fucking my that nigga had one, you had one song that had more streams in my entire catalog. But it was probably one of the YG songs, right? Bro, it had like fifteen million or you know, some crazy shit. You know what's shit. weird about that? That's my that's my most video views I got. It gets twenty one million, exactly. but song wise on Spotify, no. Twenty one million. How do we go from me interviewing the game to AD Spotify stats? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Compton hey, Legends, I, man. Hey, I've been back in the studio. I'm gonna start dropping every week, like every week, for real for real. Yeah. Man, new little come on, man. Listen, you yeah. sit you sitting on like. Radio smashes. Well, now man. I'm about to start dropping shit every week. Please. I'm about to have all my homies, all my rapper homies. I got songs. Everybody about to start dropping, and I'm about to do that shit just to shit on niggas, man. Honestly, you got just to, to let them know, like nigga, I can do this. I rap better than you niggas, man. Well, Adam about to come shit on us. I ain't gonna lie, Adam can rap his ass off. Bro. Adam really uh -huh. be spilling. <laughs> <laughs> you look a little tan too today. I don't know why, bro. You, you, you wanted some melanin. I went out in the sun a little bit. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, you know, got a little, got, yeah. a, little, got a little spray well, tan. Hit the pool. 
Josh brought this ill floaty, so I was able to just lay back and float in the pool. Imagine Josh bringing floaties through. Josh brought floaties through. <laughs> <laughs> you do got a nice ass pool, bro. Hit up Josh, like, yo, bring the floaties. Your pool nice as fuck. When you going? <laughs> when you going to invite us over to put our smelly balls in your pool? I fucking. Um, I don't want to put no balls. I in sent out pool. the bat signal in the group chat before. I remember Vel showed up, and it was just me. No, too real came too. <laughs> no, he was throwing eggs. That one. No, that was that, that was Easter. <laughs> that was on Easter. No, but it was just me, Lena, and Parker, and then Vel sitting over in the in the corner smoking a blunt. Well, you, like, Vel, and Parker? Vel was just because I <laughs> smoking said, a blunt. I, Parker didn't hit the blunt. So you exaggerate the stories there. She passed it, though. She was passive. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> CPS! <laughs> just kidding. Nah, but Vel was just there smoking a blunt. Okay, well, we got to we gotta plan out like a like a bro barbecue or something. What are y'all doing for my birthday? You're not birth- going to show up. I'm. It, yeah, you're not showing up to your own Yes, party. I am. Yeah. The old me... Maybe last year, maybe not. You're, you're, uh-huh. way, you're way better. Man, I was talking to somebody the other day. They were like, man, House Phone fucking called me the other day at 5 in the morning. He was so fucked up. Did I? <laughs> oh. Some, who was somebody? No comment. I don't like to reveal Vel. my sources. It had to be Vel. You on the pookie again? No. Well, first of all, I was never on the pookie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You put in a fent order? No, no, no. Yeah, but bro, I, no, no, I, no I, got, I got a little lit. It was it's Leo season. You know what I'm saying? We had a little celebration. Lit how? What did you do? I got a little real. drunk. I did okay. a little coke. No! It's a little man. bit. It was just stop a little it. bit. Toot, toot. I did stop it. It was just a little bit. He just bit. did something, then he stopped it. Yeah. He just lets me down. I was just being honest. At least you want me to lie? I, I I'm not going to lie to you. No, we, we appreciate the honesty. We just also want you to come. No, no, out. I'm chilling, though. I'm chilling, I promise. Let I me promise. ask you something. You like, I, like, I didn't like stay up for like two days or nothing. Like, I was just That's at, the I know. at least do you test it when you do it? With what? Nigga, that fit is bad, bro. That's like testing your tequila. <laughs> All right, bro. Huh? Just kidding. Okay, you're. Yeah. I know people personally that, yeah, that test your drugs. From that yeah, fit, definitely bro. test your so drugs. Like, All nah. you gotta do is take a little water cap and and what you put the shit and you put the strip in it, bro. You send it to DJ Dabs and you say, "Yo, is this <laughs> is this legit?" I've done that before. A kid, a kid had a pint at a lyrical or not not a lyrical lemonade, but at a no jumper. Like I did like a, a fucking meet and the greet thing in Chicago. In right? Chicago, we we're selling merch and I'm taking pictures with the fucking fans. Whatever. I took like 300 photos in a row, and one kid has a pint, and I had the lyrical lemonade soda, and he's just like, "Do you want to pour up with me?" Like, and I'm like, "Fuck! All right, I just took 200 photos. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll pour up with you, random guy." Mm. And so we pour it up. I sip it a couple times, but at the same time, I texted the DJ Dabs. I'm like, "Yo, what do you think of this bottle?" He goes, "That's fake. Abort mission." What? After you already had sipped it? I already sipped it a little mm. bit. It's not like anything happened. I actually yeah. still totally... Did I, your imagination I, make you feel high? I, I definitely felt like I had drank lean, even though he said it was fake. But I mean, it being fake doesn't mean yeah. that it's nothing in it. You probably, like, it just probably tired you out. Sprinkle some Zans in there. The average layman's not going to know the difference. The average what, man? Layman. What does that mean? It's like someone who doesn't know anything. Mm. Yeah, I've exactly. never heard this term. Yeah, yeah. I, I swear to God, Adam. You're a layman. <laughs> <laughs> the old simple layman. It's also the guy selling chips. Oh, the, oh, that's lay, the, the lays, the lays man. Oh. You like a, pl- a bag of plain lays? No, Hell never. No. You never go home with a with <laughs> no. a yellow sack? No. That and a regular Fritos. That's the weird. Forget about it. Yeah. What kind of Fritos you get? Chili, Chili cheese. cheese. Yeah. What? You don't fuck with those? Well, I like the plain. I like the and and I hate to say it, but I like the blue lays, the, the uh, sea salt. Again? Oh, sea salt. Sea salt ones? No, honestly. Okay, okay. Which Doritos? Nacho cheese or Cool Ranch? Nacho cheese. The it, Cool Ranch ones are busting. I'm, I'm new to Doritos. I've only really what? been eating them like the last like five six years. Okay. That's so a I'm, fucking lie. I'm still kind of trying to figure out where I stand. You've been eating Doritos they, your whole life. They didn't no, exist in Hash like Brown Town. Young. They were too exotic. Were they? They probably were Zaza so back then. So what were the chips that you had back in your day? Tortilla. No, plain lace. <laughs> Maybe ruffles. We didn't even have tortilla. Plain ruffles? Tortilla chips were too exotic for hash brown town. You don't understand. They do they even shit. make do they even make plain ruffles? Yeah. Yeah, they said they make what plain the Well, they're salted, but they're mostly plain. There's like yeah. original flavor. Do they have unsalted no, I ruffles? See the, the sour cream onion ones. I don't That's see That's what I'm saying. Ruffles. I never even seen those. Well, you need to open your goddamn eyes. <laughs> There's oh, plenty no, no. of chips they out do, there. They do got them because because you got to get the plain ruffles with the the dip, the ruffle dip. Hey, when you dip, I dip, we dip. We dip. <laughs> you remember that? Put my hand, put yeah. your put hands hand up, up on my dick. dick. When I dip, you Did that go to Hasbro Town? Oh, of course. Was y'all doing the hokey pokey around that motherfucker? <laughs> I was dirty dancing to that shit. What is dirty, dirty dancing? Dirty dancing? Like, Josh, <laughs> like you're at a school dance and you're grinding on a girl like you're really horny. I would love. You definitely was not doing I, You want to fuck, but you're 14 and there's I nowhere would, you can fuck. Was I you doing pay. the waltz at your school? <laughs> 
I, I, I would pay thousands of dollars to see you grinding up on a girl. It's happened. Uh, <laughs> multiple times at school dances, the teachers or whoever had to come up and, and like basically like sort of like, you know, separate me, like, me and my Grand boo. Mason again. Bro, yeah, you yeah. horny as fuck. Trying to hug everyone <laughs> in the school dance, just dirty dancing, grinding. I bet Josh, you, have, you ever, have you ever witnessed this? No. Push you to the end. All your teachers are dead. Oh, they had God. to separate you. They had to move us apart. I was getting so into it. You're a fucking horny bastard. You're 14. You can't fuck. There's no way. Where are you going to do it? I ain't going to lie. Growing up, our school dances was crazy. Yeah? Yeah. You guys are probably shooting each other. Yeah. No, I'm talking about <laughs> niggas listening this is to like fucking like Pretty Rick. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Genuine and all that. I want to text you yeah, shit like and that. tell you fast yep. asleep. Did they dagger in Compton? <laughs> no one's <daggered>. basically. basically <laughs> <laughs> Luke was still. Why do you like, know oh, about oh, that? Oh, 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 oh. What, 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 what you just did was completely foreign to me. I have no <laughs> idea. It, to me, it looks like you just a had bitch, a seizure. A bitch jump on your lap, and she's just shaking her shit. You go, oh, 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 oh. That's a nice no-jumper shirt, by the way. I just want to throw that, that out. That shirt is this fucking is fire. No These are my good homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Homemade, I, I, fame, I, I think, shout out to my nigga Drew. Bro, I feel you know like, I might be do you know how many brands? Term, we, we might have made a shirt with the exact same basketball yeah. hoop with the with the... Thing moving like I feel like. Everybody, Do you know how many brands uh, stole that this you, exact you design? You hop on Google Images and you search basketball hoop, and I feel like there's one that everybody gravitates towards. Well, look, this so is every, a comp, a constant basketball because I've seen a, a lot of different hoop. shirts with the same ish basketball hoop, including no, 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 no. Ours. like but like even the font and all no that. Jumper.com. Look, even the font and all that. You know what that's from originally? That's from the fucking like Kanye pastel brand that never came out. You know, you gave me my first shirt from them. From home, home, homemade Femi? Yeah, home. I think it's home fem. It's home fem. Home, homey Femi. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Drew, man. I don't know. Like, I went to the warehouse, man. They got. A lot they of probably dope yeah. Shit. They probably got a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. it does does that mean like girl boy or something? Yeah, it does. I I only say that because you got a girl and a boy on your whoa on your uh, you? yeah. Yo, look at Josh back. hitting us with with the breaking news. Put us in the corner, Josh. The Breakfast Club, as you know it, is officially over. Whoa. Angela Yee, we've all been wondering for for years and years and wow. years what was going to happen because you, you've been able to feel Charlemagne's gone. DJ Envy, Charlemagne, and Angela Yee kind of growing apart, becoming less and less cool. The Gucci Mane situation was was definitely a factor in all you that. Think so, yeah, definitely. I mean, that was she clearly felt, she felt like disrespected. Or something I mean, he like, called her like what a stupid ass hoe mm. on. Camera in front of Charlotte. Wasn't that years ago? And it was, but I'm that saying was so long ago. that was a moment where we got to sort of see inside their dynamic because it was just kind of obvious that they weren't as tight as people might have assumed at that moment. And I feel like since then, people have kind of been wondering when they might go their separate ways because mm. they all obviously carry a lot of value as a unit. But meanwhile, if you go your separate ways, and you could get 100% of the money of what you're doing on your own. Yeah, no, dead to fuck. And up. especially with Charlemagne being Shout gigantic. Out <laughs> fuck no jumper! <laughs> One of the realest things I ever seen on the Reddit was AD manages to make himself the main character in every single conversation. Yes! So you let's know work what? on that. Um, anyway, but the Breakfast Club. Uh, that really is the question. That's it's like crazy. Okay, but Charlemagne is doing so much shit on his own. How does he even it, have time? Well, it's kind of like... Does he? Is it that big a sacrifice to continue doing something that clearly has two other people as partners in it? Or at a certain point, does it just become like, why even fucking bother? Bro, I, feel I like think it's, it's more of a radio thing. Yeah, and it's just like a... But they're a, very multimedia. They're on Revolt. They're on YouTube, you know? It's yeah, a, but It's a staple, though. But if you really think about it, like... Oh, them having to put in all the time to do radio and shit? When's the last time, like, you really seen, like, a good, like, breakfast club... Interview like we used to. Mm. I used to watch yeah, Breakfast Club watch interviews as much as I watch No Jumper interviews. Yeah, it it felt they don't like, seem like they do that yeah, anymore like that. Like if you really think about it, it felt like they were more of a player a couple years ago, and that because like once you have the deal and you're locked in, <clears throat> it takes a certain something for you to really fight to get every amazing interview. And it's kind of felt like for a while the Breakfast Club maybe wasn't super concerned with getting all these yeah. top interviews like yeah. they were for a certain period of time. I don't know. Maybe podcasts were on it. 
the more podcasts came, a lot like a lot of less radio shows pe- became like pe- prominent. Yeah, people stopped like watching those ones that because like think about it, that was the only option you had at first was to watch a Breakfast Club. I still Club feel like or, the Breakfast Club. If you're an artist and you want to make a splash, it's still like pretty much one of your best bets. If you have something new that you want to bring to the table, if you're a mainstream artist, yeah. yeah, if you're mainstream and I mean they definitely lost track of the underground at a yeah. long fucking time, long time ground, for sure. But it's not like that was they ever got, their thing. They got that classics though. They definitely they have do. classics. They, they really do. The question is like, okay, do you see DJ Envy having like a successful rapper interview podcast on his own if he chooses to go that Envy, direction? Envy I think been he's, rich for a long time. We, but, yeah. but, but can he do that? He, like, is his, he needs the dynamic of a Charlemagne to bounce off. We of him, all know honest. that Charlemagne is going to be huge. If, if if tomorrow it's the Charlemagne show and it's just him interviewing rappers, we know it's going to be huge. Angela Yee or DJ Envy is definitely like a lot less clear that that's the case. Angela Yee got the, the lip service. Her shit been doing good too. Yeah, I'm sure she's doing good. I don't think I've ever seen one episode of lip service though. I went on it with Black Did Dave. Did you? You was on it? Me and Black Dave went on there and got drunk. That's fire. We Shout out to Black Hank, Dave. And we were like talking to Stephanie Santiago and, and just like looking at her. She sounds amazing. I don't know who that is, but. I know Envy do some, do some car shows. That sound, She sounds like she got a fat ass. Mm. But yeah, um, and we yeah. Did, we we couldn't remember until after the interview that she did Joe Budden that we should have asked her about. Oh no, because you got to ask. You got. You always got to find a way to ask about Joe Budden. Always got to ask, but no, but yeah, like I don't know if I'm necessarily tuning in to a, a DJ Envy on his own interview. Like, all right. DJ DJ Envy interview Soldier Boy. This is the new. Am, di- I, am I watching? This that? is the new dynamic. Is that it's like there's so many fucking people doing interviews that it's like. The interviews that people can get that actually matter, those get a lot of attention. And then there's certain dynamics. Like, for instance, the game has already done a bunch of fucking interviews over the past Ooh. couple of months. I feel like my dynamic, people will tune in to watch it's me. And I feel different. like that'll be a big interview. When you guys sit down with Wiz, I feel like that's a fucking big interview. Even though Wiz does enough interviews that <clears throat> not all of his interviews are gigantic. You know, he does ones that maybe don't really get that much attention or whatever, but you guys got like 1.5 million views sitting down with him because you get to see Wiz in a different it's because light. because the dynamic, like you said. And that's kind of like where the game is at now, where it's like you have to either be creating a dynamic where people want to see that person in that fucking world sitting and talking to these hosts, like with Flagrant. Flagrant interviews Jake Paul or whatever, and they get like 2 million views. Jake Paul's done a million fucking interviews but people want to see their environment because they know Andrew Schultz is funny they know he's going to fuck with the person that he's going to bring up funny shit so they can get a lot of views even if their guest is not necessarily the biggest guest they That's got a million fine. views with me and Lennon well yeah losers but... <laughs> stop Cap. it stop it bro complete and total <clears throat> losers Bums, nah, bro, really. bro you, do, you do numbers especially when you do like when the content is focused on you outside of No Jumper, I, from what I see, it always looks really good. How about the fact that Lena, on her new podcast, Touchy Subject, which you guys should all check out on YouTube and other podcasting services. Shout out to her. Lena did a three-hour interview with Heather Sanders the I other know, day that's gonna be dope. while Tiny Cuss sat on the fucking couch and watched. And she already- On the porn couch? Uh, no, different couch. But, Sick uh, fuck. But fucking disgusting. They already- uh, she's already nervous about her podcasting. Lynn? Yes. Why? Because she's brand new to it and everything. And now she's got T-Rell. She holds a very who, good conversation, w- though. Most of the time when I talk to her about T-Rell, it's just like, oh, hey, listen, there's there's this asshole at my, <laughs> at my office. He's, Is that what you say about all <laughs> oh, Yeah, he course, definitely yeah. goes. You know he goes not, home. Not you guys, but T-Rell, for sure. I'm like, he's, <laughs> he's the meanest. He's crazy. He's emotional. He's lashing out at people. And he's sitting on the couch. And she's knowing that he's a very, very harsh critic. He's not... The, Who's, a, who's like the, the person just... that you complain about the most, Elena? Is it T Rail? T Rail for sure, or me? Honestly, I don't even really tell her about like ninety percent of shit. Fucking that house here. phone didn't show up again. God oh, damn yeah, it! Okay, yeah, you. I guess that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who else am I complaining? About? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I mean, for a long time, it seemed like you and T Rail's relationship was. It, it, it was. It had a little hump. Now it's over that. She's definitely heard a lot about me and T Rail. Because Adam would be like. You, it just still to this day, they find a way. He'd be like, T Real, you just find a way to do this. <laughs> T Real, you just I find saw, a way to do this. I saw them today, actually. Uh, I was leaving uh, Cookies and Kicks and I was passing by Sorella and I, I saw them. I just like, you know, I, I see a blonde hair and like, you know, skinny man. I'm like, that's for sure T Real and Heather. T Real has blonde hair? This girl got blown. Oh. <laughs> and I just like giving swerved. Bozo. I swerved into the parking lot. Don't you, swerve. Do no you, car. Don't hit nothing do around. Do you there. even know about it's giving Bozo? Yes. I watched the I watched the Gideon. I wanted to be there, man. 
Oh, I like GDR. I wish Bro, he was he's there. fucking. Oh, I thought hilarious. I wanted to be there when the guy said it's giving. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's so funny though because you know, I, I can't believe that you just stuck onto that know one that part. Dude, like that. He was like really a friend of a friend who was there. Oh, I thought so, that was like her like gay homie assistant. I guess she got a ton of shit because he said because the, the, Gideon in the video is like I got th- I just hit a thousand followers on TikTok, mm. and then that guy goes <laughs> we've got millions, <laughs> but then meanwhile they don't. So then, like, all of a sudden... It just sounded good to Heather's say. Heather's fucking social media is blowing up with people saying, you don't have millions of followers, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, this is the dude who said it, and, he, you know, she's taking the shit Yeah, he it. was he was just, like, defending bro, her in the moment, you know? That nigga content is... Bro, I just watched the shit that he snuck into TwitchCon. Mm. Oh, I didn't watch that one. Yes, bro. You see the one where he was uh, going into the restaurants, acting like he was a chef? Uh, yeah, I've seen every every upload, I <laughs> yeah, think. I know, The right? TwitchCon shit was funny, though, because he, he literally found a fucking auction... Where he could talk to like the CEO or whoever at Twitch. What? And he puts on a fucking mustache and asks them like to unban him and shit. You think Gideon smelled the plug talk couch? Yes. Yeah. Why was he at pl- the plug talk T-Row, couch? Sorry. I was like, what? You think T Row gave it a sniff? Nah. You think I have to worry about him being on plug talk house for three hours with Lena? For what? What? That might be an ideal first threesome. Oh my Maybe God. that was the whole idea. You know, it's, you know it's crazy. Let's get her in the What's sex house. You know it's crazy. I think, shoot our shot. I really think if that happened, you wouldn't even care. You'd be like, nah. If my girl chose to fuck T. Rel, <laughs> you don't think I would care? <laughs> You're like, it's content. You're like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll be like, just, just for plug talk. Is nothing real? Is everything in my life just destined <laughs> to be a big joke? You, you would hate him for life that, after that. Would you rather your fuck your girl fuck T. Rel or Flacco? T. Rel. T. Rel. Yeah. T Rail's drippy. Only because Flacco was going like, he's never going to let you hear that. Oh, end my God. Yeah, yeah. T Rail might, might not even T Rail might not even bring it around. But do you think T Rail would even... like, be able to control himself and not tell you all about fucking your bitch? Mm. I feel like yeah, he would have right. to unload. No, but I feel like it's going to be like, it's going to be, it's more embarrassing with Flacco. Right. You know? Would you rather watch T Rail fuck or would you rather T Rail <laughs> watch you fuck? I'm not answering this. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't took it. Where the fuck? You didn't swerve it somewhere else now? Like, like, the, fir- like the first question yeah, was already the first like. The question was already. <laughs> it's like a hypothetical swinger type thing. Like, if you were a swinger. Why? Are you into swinging? No. Bro, he's too jealous. There's no way. Yeah, yeah I'm sensitive. You are real sensitive. Bro, he be like, acting like Mr. Thug. This nigga. I literally to get my point across to him, I have to call him. He knows when I call. Mm, he like that is serious. And then he acts like he doesn't know his coming. He be like, "What's up, dude?" Like he's, you know, I'm about to call you, nigga. What are you talking about? What's up? What's up? Bro? What's up, dude? Like nigga, you know what I'm calling for? Cap. <laughs> like nigga. Yes, nigga. Yeah. Like, it's been about three, four times that I had to call you. You like, always say this. Why do you always sell, say this? This ain't true. What? Like y'all are arguing via text? Yeah, but it's just like, why do you always have to talk about this specific thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a specific thing. He's like, I always have to call you. No, I'm saying when you're being a dickhead. I get it. No, oh, I get yeah, it. Yeah. No, I, you definitely don't gotta explain gets, it again. Yeah. No, I get it. Because he's a dickhead. He gets think, so spicy via text. No, I think sometimes he has to no, be no, like. No, 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 we get it. Yeah. He, he has, no, what no, the no, hell? No. <laughs> he really don't want to hear this. Yeah, right. just, I've heard this so many times that it's just like, why are we still saying this? Like, what is this? Oh I just, my god. I feel like the biggest thing on the podcast that would be good is mm-hmm. just more attention to repeating ourselves. Yeah, I know. Because it gets crazy sometimes. Bro, we've been doing this shit for a minute though so it's like it's hard to like kind of not sometimes that's why we've, we, we're very i think we've done a good job at not talking about things that we've already talked into the ground over the past yeah, couple weeks yeah but maybe real. that's why the viewers are a little lower right now maybe we, we're they? not talking about it enough fuck maybe we more should. josh said the views are not yeah low. yeah josh, that? It's that josh, day, right? <laughs> josh made a josh made a face like think this the nigga fuck? Adam, everything he says i always I looked at josh because i'm like it's debunked 11k yeah, no. is low this nigga said this like, is the last episode at this no. spot yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah. it's not Th- that's cap no but that's josh josh is the one who had to inform me we're not moving in as quick as we thought well the, the fucking office is empty so where did all the shit go we moved everything in, but you know, this mm. getting all this working at the same time is kind of a thing. So, are y'all bringing this setup, or yes. this is done? Yeah, this is one of the many setups that we will have. We need cable uh, management over there. Mm, yeah, that would be hard. Wait, wait. So, are we gonna have different sets for a different yes. show? Yeah, damn. Imagine we moved into that huge space only at one set. Yeah, I know, right? That, that would, would be, be fucking stupid. Wait, it's three sets, right? Three plus my Twitch streaming setup, which could probably be used by you, other people and stuff. Are you going to be just like uh, like doing the poker shit and shit like that? Yeah, whatever. Just whatever? Yeah, whatever. I could see you like killing it on some like reaction shit. Dude, like, I played on, on this Twitch. fucking live stream yeah, game the other day and I fucking lost like 30K and then <sighs> came all the way back. I always tune in. And you got it back? Your poker streams. You watch that shit? 
I don't watch oh, it. Oh, on, on Twitch, yeah. I just come to support you. That's I was talking about on the live <laughs> of the bike thing. I don't want to watch you play fucking or, uh, poker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Casino, sorry. Yeah, but did you see that a guy got shot in the fucking parking lot before I went yeah, there? Yeah, I was day? about to say, what and the they fuck? They canceled the game on me, and then they fucking call us all back like 20 minutes later, and they're like, yo, the game's back on. So you end up going? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? But these guys fucking with machine guns, this is the kind of shit that happens in Gardenia, apparently. Is they Gardena. fucking. Gardenia. Whatever. Yeah. They fucking. I was down, you know, I was down the Gardenia. street. Gardenia. I was down the street while you were there. They fucking follow an armored truck into the casino parking lot, and they fucking pull out. The, one of the security guards ends up getting shot. I think two people got shot trying to steal the money out the armored truck. Did they, they, did they this get the just money? happening in the parking lot of the casino. Well, did they get the money? I think they got away, or they got they either got it and got away, or they didn't get it and got away. Well, regardless, they got away, so I guess that's good. But like, if you just shot the nigga and didn't even get the money, what the fuck was the purpose? Well, of doing I think that? the important thing is that the poker game went on. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's good that. Did you no feel unsafe died. afterwards? No. no. <laughs> there's one situation. You didn't even think about it. The fuck there's I mean? one situation in LA where I know somebody got away and it was fucking crazy. Like, the armor truck? No, this nigga fucking on a motorcycle robbed a bank next to a uh, police substation what? and got off and got on and no one ever found him. Wow. Is that is that I one of those ones so where much. they is that one of those ones where they fucking had the like high speed chase cameras and shit like that and a nigga remember the nigga pulled into the mall and they never caught him. I remember that one. You remember that one? That was crazy. No, the best one in history is is when the niggas robbed a bank and the cops was was we and they went to the hood and they was just throwing money out. And they was in like a blue Mustang. I gotta Fire. do this or Josh is gonna kill me. People at home, are you looking for beats from hit making producers? Well, there's a new player in town. Beatopia is the first subscription of its kind for rappers and singers. It's basically like Netflix for beats. While other beat platforms charge you anywhere from twenty to forty dollars for just the MP3 and a limited number of streams, Beatopia offers you five downloads for just fifteen dollars per month. With that, you get the wave, stems, and full rights, so you can get unlimited streams on Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Producer credits include Kehlani, Gunna, WizKid, Polo G, Ty Dolla Sign, and more. Click the link in the description below and use code NOJUMPER, one word, at checkout for an exclusive $1 subscription for your first month. That's Beat Opia. B-E-A-T-O-P-I-A dot com. Tap in. Tap the fuck in. Beat Topia sounds like some porn name that you have. Sounds like Fruitopia. Ooh. Remember drinking that back in the day? Hey, those was fire. I don't mm. now remember that. You never caught the Fruitopia? Fruitopia? Yeah, you know what Fruitopia the is. Fuck? Maybe if I seen it, huh? It was just a, a like the fruit punch one was was elite. It was just a fruity drink. Take a look. <laughs> No, I, bro, everybody I don't know if I had these but before. Did, I, you had that house, home. I feel like they sold the Coca-Cola at one point, and then I started to only see it in Burger King. Oh, you know what? I hella do remember these. I'm Fruit tripping. The dead. Fruit Punch was the good as fuck. The Fruit Punch is super sugary, though. You yeah. still drinking that shit? No. They still make them? Oh, no, I'm saying I, you still drink, like, fruity, sugary sodas and shit? I don't shit? even drink soda no more, bro. No, me neither. It's gross. Bad I'm not going to lie. I'll tap in sometime. Yeah. Like every once in I'm a while, probably the one that a little shouldn't. orange juice, a little apple juice, but nothing. Like, nah, I can't drink like mm. the craziest. I really like, be off just like a good lemonade or like an Arnold Palmer. I can't. <laughs> Palmer. I can't say that yeah. I'm actually dieting hard right now, but I really, really want to start. I feel like I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm about to start. What's the goal? Not being a fat ass. Mm. This is the longest I've fat. stayed in the fucking gym for like consistently. Why is it not working? Ever. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. He's so but out of pocket. Have you been like putting size on or, and not losing weight or have you been losing weight? I've been losing a little weight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, but I'm good. not like, I'm not like when you say, oh, I'm about to do this, it's like you're always going to fuck up. But honestly, like I've talked about how I was going to get in shape or how I was going to start dieting so hard so many times on here that it's like. I don't even feel like because you feel like you're going to guilt trip your way. Like if you tell the fans that you're going to do mm. it, then they're just going to believe you. Right. But then Bro. I, I don't even believe my own bullshit anymore. That's kind of the problem is that I, I don't think that I'm going to stop having a good time. That's why you got to just do it. That's why you got to just Bro, do it. You, that's, can't, you can't tell the fans. You can't make them part of the journey. That's what I was about to say. You don't even tell you like 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 well, boxing. I was like, all right, like even now, like I'd be tired and I'd be like, I just got to go. Like, ain't no excuse. But also, I feel like sleep is so important. Yeah, 1,000%. Yeah, yeah. Dude, my house is slowly falling apart. All of a sudden, we don't have... So there's no jumper. We don't have air conditioning. Wow. And my girl just wow. told me that the hot water stopped working. 
Well, you, you gotta don't take shower a cold anyway, ass so. Yeah, I shower every day. You piece of shit. <laughs> so <laughs> that wasn't gonna affect you anyway. Now, now, right. we're, now we're in this fucking crazy situation where I feel like I'm living in like a fucking abandoned building. All of a sudden, yeah, you're don't like shower in the pool. That doesn't work. <laughs> That's gonna make you grosser. Is it? Yeah. Oh, if you just lather up and so- and soap and then just when dive I go in the pool, I do not feel cleaner after. Nah, you, feel you got a shower. Don't don't you got a jacuzzi too? No. You want it? You got a pool with no jacuzzi? I feel like it would almost like not even fit in the yard. I feel like the yard's not big enough to easily accommodate a Nigga, you had a yeah, whole... Yeah, your yard is crazy. Your yard is big, bro. Yeah, but now that we have the giant fucking place set, it's oh. not as big as it used to feel. Okay. Is that big? The place set is big. I've seen pictures of it, but it didn't look like it was like taking up that much room. No, it's monstrous. Bro, you had like a whole fucking setup for Parker's birthday. Like... With mushroom sliders, don't ever. You want to know something fucking crazy? (laughs) My girl's been looking at wedding venues. Mm. Oh, she's about to bleed. I forgot you're getting married. She's about to bleed that pocket, bro. The amount of money that she got quoted by a spot today, sixty k. I wish. No, nigga, it's definitely five, six hundred. What? Five hundred k? You guys are both so wrong. Yeah, right. (laughs) You're way too low. You're way too high. But it's fucking nuts. Like I, I don't understand how how this is a possibility, but I guess if it want a really ill wedding venue, oh yeah, because oh. okay, because we're just talking about just to rent the venue, just the venue. Okay, just the venue. I'm gonna say 120. Final answer. Where's the reception at? I don't know. I have no idea. Why would he say that? I can't wait to go. Where's the reception? <laughs> I, I cannot I wait. There yet. We're working on the venue. I and can't it's wait to go insane. either. Really? Oh, is the whole office invited? I think so. I think I think it should be. That, means, that means no. Well, if yeah, you're going right. to invite... Only mo- one of us made it to the baby shower. If you're going to invite most of them, no, we then all, you got to invite oh, all of them. Wait, you were the only one that went to the baby shower. The that was the baby digital shower. one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was about we to could say. We only have so many people. That's when I found right? out who Riley Reed was. <laughs> you never knew who Riley we- you Reed was? You rubbed one out to her since? No, I didn't know who she was. Everybody was like, you're on the, 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 the virtual thing with Riley Reed. And I was like... You're yeah. not going to rub one out to her? Pussy. You never have... To Riley Reed, no. You're not an American. Not specifically. You don't check off to white women? No. <laughs> My girls have white, so. Uh, yeah, there you go. This guy's full white. of surprises, this guy. <laughs> bro, I check off to white women. Bro, I feel like AD is too busy to just be jacking off, bro. This what? Is, you're never too busy to jack off. That's the gayest thing I ever heard. Why? Because yeah. nobody's ever too busy to jerk off. I feel like I have, I've been jerking off but less have because I've been doing more. Day, I'm not jerking off. Yeah, no, for real. Like. That's like a treat after you get back home. It takes like five minutes. Bro, me, when I nah. bust a nut, it takes like half my energy, life force for the rest of the day, bro. I, what? I don't know, bro. I just. That's, that, well, you got to think about it. This nigga. It's like smoking a cig. Nah. This it's is like, like a quick tension reliever. Two? I'm not coming to the podcast. I'm sleeping all what? day. Hey, what? Oh, if, you, if you busted two nuts, you're if not coming. If I bust coming? two nuts, if I bust one in the morning, one before the pot, I'm not coming to the pot. Shit, I'm not <laughs> fuck around. I'm, I'm going to be here like this. <laughs> I'm going to jerk off two times in the morning before an interview. you just a sick fuck. Man, yeah, you really out are, out. though. It's different. I'm out here in the field. In the jack shack? The, the energy out there is just like masturbatory. I think you're used to it because you're like a sex slave. No. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> that you're a sex slave. That's what it means. <laughs> Sick fuck. Anyway. Well, yeah. Well, like, dude, like, is it because you feel like secluded? You feel like you're like doing something wrong? Like you're like being sneaky in the fucking Jack Shack? Like, ah, uh, let me. <laughs> you like Linda's in, <laughs> Linda's in the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, definitely. Linda's definitely. in the other room you playing with partner. The playground. I like the uh, no. <laughs> I like the dynamic. No, not yet. On the slide, bend over the slide late at night. She's stuck in the slide. Sometimes. Like Parker walks out, Dad, Dad, what are you doing? Sometimes, He's like, hey, go to the side. Stop. Uh, sometimes <laughs> I'm out there uh, with this gigantic play set, and I just think about how crazy it is that this is the same backyard that I banged, like, two chicks in the ass at the same time what? on camera in. Yeah, that's bad. You was doing that on camera? In the backyard. In your backyard? And why now we, why we, are you outside? Why not? Switch it up. Uh, Live a that. little. That's yeah. history. And then all of a sudden, now we can never do that again. Nobody wants to jerk off to something with a fucking yeah. giant fucking fun yeah. house in the mm-hmm. background. No, you're from Nambla. That's, that's gonna kill the vibe. That's Nobody. definitely a vibe killer. Nobody wants to see that. But like, what, what? Like, did you have like, did you have like seats or something? How did you? You did the standing up. We brought a little. Couch, a little, a little, little, little like plastic. You brought a couch, couch outside. Couch. Yeah, we had a couch actually. I think we might have rented a couch. You brought a whole couch outside just to fuck some girl. Not on like the ass. our couch. Like, the, do your neighbors know what you do? Yeah, 
<laughs> they do actually. Your shit's high enough th- though, right? But our one neighbor on the side is hella cool. We like know them good. Like if they fucking overheard us like fucking in the yard, which probably realistically probably wouldn't happen yeah. at this point, they they would not care. You guys want like right. Wilson that just looks over? No, the and talks to y'all. They have to be like fucking <laughs> the tallest person on earth. <laughs> anyway, but they uh, stood on a ladder. I got uh, I got some topics from. Oh no! Before we get into anything outside of our realm. I wanted to talk about the fact, because I don't think it's been discussed on here. Can you fucking believe that Tyga waved the white flag and basically said, hey, can we be friends again? That's damn near what he said. So we looked at, so for those who don't know, because we touched on it last time, T-Rell, his store, Sorella, a fucking cement truck blasts into a fire hydrant outside their store. It blows water high into the air. We're watching it on her story. It seems like the water's leaking in a little bit, but you're thinking it's not that big a deal. Yeah, All so. of a sudden, the water starts collecting on the roof, and it fucking co- makes the roof collapse. All this shit gets wet as fuck. It trashes the whole fucking place. T-Rail and his girl decide that they need a little bit of help, so they fucking create a GoFundMe. And uh, you know, we're, we're, I, go, I go to check it the next morning after uh, me and Lena donated. I know it was AD donated. And then I go to check it, and I see you can see the pe- the people's names. Who yes, it? and yeah. I'm sure Monte wasn't on there. I'm sure that uh, that no high yeah, rollers. Right, you never even heard uh, of it. Uh, <laughs> He's finding out right now that this happened to T. Rao. Shut but, the uh, fuck up. So I, I go to look at it, and I see a donation that towers above all the other donations. It's Tyga, the Ten person wow. that T. that T. Rao has talked about at length on. This podcast with all kinds of different people. People love to bring it up. People basically like goat or they uh, goad. Uh, that's a go to. That's a goad. They 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 goad him. They 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 basically like prompt him yeah. to say things about Tiger on all, all kinds of different levels. And what's crazy about it too is that the diligent fans noticed that Tyga still followed T Rel, but T Rel didn't follow Tyga. It's on Instagram. So I'm not sure yeah. So I'm not sure exactly what the terms were when they stopped fucking with each other, but when you see something like that, it makes you think if they haven't been cool with each other for five fucking years, six years, however long they, they haven't been cool, that says a lot that Tyga's still following. That makes me think, oh, he's still down to be cool. Then we see that donation coming in. Actually what's crazy is I I messaged Tyga the night before on Instagram, and I really? think this was the third time that I DM Tyga. I think I had one. You're from really my, thirsty. I'm for a thirsty that. fuck. <laughs> and after I got that game interview, but just DMing him, I'm Mr. DM man. I'm DMing everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna DM people ten times. A, a closed mouth don't get fed. Bro. Closed do mouth don't shit. get fed. No homo. And so I fucking I I, I DM Tyga in 2018, 2020, and then I DM'd him that night, and I said, "Bro, this would be a great time to do an interview." He responded. He said, "I don't want to talk about this current shit." But when my album comes out, I'll do it. And then I fucking notice, boom, that fucking donation the next morning. I'm like, wow. You think you you think you had a little something to do with that? I don't that know. It made, me, it made me wonder if maybe Tyga looked at TRL's, uh, T- looked, at, looked at my T-Rail story and saw that. TRL didn't believe that he did it. We yeah, I was on prank. your stream, We right? went 24 hours before we realized that we believed it. Because you had to ask him I asked to Tiger. confirm. But bro, but think about, like, come on, let's be honest with we're, you. Who T-Rel else thought it was a prank? Who else would have sent $10,000 no, in? I'm not going to say who T-Rel thought it was. It's but two he, people uh, that T-Rel know. He that has a, do. a rich friend who actually, like, he T-Rel thought rich maybe this is actually. Yeah, Yo, if you have ten grand to prank somebody, my, yeah. my, my, my hat is off I'm to saying. You. you. That's a baller right there. Bro, yeah, that's, that's, why, that's why he kept saying he didn't do it. He didn't do it. I was like, how you don't, How you know he didn't do it? And I said, I'm going to hit him up and find out. But also, I mean, that, used, that used to be Tiger's fucking store. It wouldn't surprise me at yeah. all if somebody told him, hey, look, your fucking old store flooded. Nigga, yeah. as, soon, as soon as I hit him, he told me he did it, and I just sent it to T-Rail, said, confirmed. T-Rail cried, huh? And he was like, Man, so I, I gotta be nice. To, I, I gotta be, be, nice, I gotta be nice. nice. They oh, tapped you, in. Grinch. They tapped in <laughs> in the DMs. I think T. T- Rob reached out, but I'm not sure how far that conversation went. I really want to know what the. Fuck I don't think was he said. wrote him back. That's what he said. Tiger didn't write him back. Originally, he thought that's Tiger fire. didn't do it because Tiger didn't write him back. You know what's crazy? That's so fun. That, that's like that's the more that's, that's the baller part. Drop the bread and then just don't even say nothing. But then the funny thing to me too is that meanwhile I'm watching Tiger's story and he's in cans. He's he's all over the world doing club appearances he's and all getting, this. I just seen he commented like 250k for a Ty, a T Rod DJ set. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Man, let me let, let me get behind the CDJs and learn how to get. Yeah, on remember this. Paris Hilton was getting a million. 
per DJ set. So why can't Nigga, T, yeah, T- Raw get two fifty? Where's we doing it too? DJ Daddy can't. I don't Snoop understand the economics it? of that. How the fuck is the club making enough money to spend that much money on getting some Vegas clubs? They got it. Jesus. And you got to think about it too, like. Like if Wiz Khalifa is DJing or Snoop Dogg is DJing, it's a bigger people draw. are gonna come to the club because they're because they're gonna come see them perform or host or anything regardless. It's funny that T. Rell just sent the Angela Yee link in the group chat. He doesn't realize that we're on camera <laughs> talking about him right now. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely not watching because he would yeah. he would already know that we know about that because we just talked about it. Yeah, no facts. I don't I don't I don't take T. Rell's. Uh, Shout out to Tiger, man. That was dope as fuck. That's fucking tight. And I the fact that, cool that he didn't shit, even. Right? The fact that he didn't even respond. Mind you, when I just seen Tiger, I told him, I'm like, nigga, come fuck with T-Rail. And he's like, I'm never going on no jumper. <laughs> so he changed. He thought about it. He thought guess, about yeah. it. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Tiger, man. How you feel about dope. that? Tiger, man. I mean, I I'm just glad he came to his senses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 because he because he DM'd you back and said. Well, uh, he said he would do the interview. I guess he said he wouldn't do it previously. So, I mean, that, but that would be amazing. But the fact that he can still look out for his homeboy and do that after That's this That's fucking fire, year, bro. That means that nigga really love that nigga, man. I know, right? That was a heartwarming tale. That's like a that's that's definitely him extending the olive branch mm-hmm. mm. for sure. No questions asked. So how about Swamp Story? He's getting exposed. Whoa! For I gotta school? see the video. So basically, <coughs> Adam be having all the info, man. There's a YouTuber, and I don't know 100 percent if this is true. So if this is not true, then by, by no means am I saying 100 percent that it is true. But there's a rapper. Uh, or, or so okay. Anyone who knows Thank anything knows that Swamp Stories is a very very popular uh, YouTube channel. That Welcome basically back to Swamp <laughs> Stories. <laughs> tells hood stories, right? Uh, uh, about all kinds of you know street shit about this gang beef with this gang, and forty years ago some guy got killed over a starter jacket, yeah. and then meanwhile, uh, can and, we, which brings us to today. Welcome to Crip Mac. It's like you know can he, we, he, can he, we, he threads all these things together and has a pretty big YouTube. Yeah, well, can intro. we be can we Dude. be completely honest though before we move on? I, I like Swamp. Stories. I love his videos. I watch them all the time. Me too. But sometimes the cohesiveness is kind of that's what I'm saying. Hard to uh that's but, my biggest criticism. But now yeah. there's like baby swamp stories now. Oh, yeah. oh 1000 percent But, but you ever seen the war uh, Warren Cali? I actually watch those. I yeah, think yeah. his biggest innovation in terms of hood, you know, storytelling hood media is basically like making it so that the stories don't really have to make that much sense where you can just take all these <laughs> yeah. totally isolated incidents yeah. and then just tell those stories thread a little bit in between it of being like well then 20 years later in the same neighborhood this happened and it works you know it you got to you got to give it to him you know what you know what blazy made me realize that he uses that <laughs> <laughs> Blasey has that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> no, he made me realize that the nigga uses random, uh, random stock images for like shit, like in the middle. Like mm. they'll be like, yeah, be like one, so. Like one time he used clickbait though, because it was like a, um, I forgot what it was about. Some people in New it's York. Probably not one time. Probably a lot. No, of but he had China Mac in the fucking in the um, <laughs> yeah in the thumbnail, and, and that's what made me click on it. That's <laughs> how I felt when he used Crip Mac in the thumbnail. It's like Crip Mac was super popping at the moment, and he tells all these stories about Fifty Fifth Street. And then at the end, he talks about Crip Mac for like, for like 30 90 seconds. seconds. But yeah, this one, China it. Mac wasn't in the video at all. At all. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I was saying. He talked, about, he talked about you one time. Oh, yeah. He, a gang yeah. of times. A gang of times? He actually just hit me up today. That's fire. Anyway, yeah. let's get into our uh, oh, yeah, story yeah. about him. Is that basically, apparently on his Instagram account, a, a, a post was posted and then quickly deleted. And this post was a flyer for an underground rap show. Mm. And this person who made the video, and the video is called Omer, the channel is called Omerta TV, and then it's called I heard that before. It's called Swamps. They only have 1.7 k subscribers, so that means you're very, very tapped in. But this video is called Swamp Stories Exposed: Double Life as a Rapper, and it turns out that the rapper is a rapper that they're saying that he is is a rapper who I have actually uh, observed. I at least checked him out at one time in the past. His name is Cemetery. Do you and know that's about who him? Swamp's stories is? This is what's being alleged. Cemetery is an underground rapper. I would compare him honestly to Suicide Boys and Bones. What? White kid, or maybe Mexican, I don't know, but like light, light skinned kid. Yeah. For sure. And the 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 his name is S E M A T A R Y Y. And it's I guess that without the double Y I think as I know. his main rap name. And I, I found out about him because I saw you had a mass gorilla interview. And so I thought to myself, who the fuck is this kid? I watched like five minutes of the interview and then I just clicked over, watched a music video or two of him. I think I remember this. Was like whatever, and then kept my life moving. So he's not Filipino. I don't know. But they're saying that this dude 
is Swamp Stories, which, if true, and they played a clip of him talking in which I guess his voice kind of did sound like the Swamp Stories guy. That's a very distinctive voice, And bro. because if you really think about it, if you were making videos like what Swamp Stories does, you'd want to do a fake version of your voice. You'd want to exaggerate mm. it so that people that you know in your day-to-day life wouldn't so be able to know the clip. Exactly. Like it feels like that's kind of like an exaggerated voice. But if this is true and you're actually like an underground fucking whatever, like dark rapper. <laughs> yeah. And then by day you're earning a living reporting on the hood. I mean, this is the funniest kind of crazy. This is the funniest fucking narrative I've ever heard in my entire life. Now I don't know if it's true, it's like but Batman. I love it. It's like Batman. It is like Batman. Yeah, it's like except Bat- instead of a rich billionaire, it's a <laughs> SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> no, but that's that would be so insane because it's just, it would just be two completely different worlds that really don't overlap, right, at all. And it's like if you like, I feel like if this is true, it's going to get proven somehow. Now the question is, if you're a cemetery and you want to continue to be this sort of like underground rapper or whatever. Is your safety now in danger? Are you going to have to move around in a very, very different way? Yep. If people know that you are Swamp Stories? Yep. Do you, do we really, like, Is are people really after him because... No, I don't think people are after him, but when you speak on things that are actively going on, yeah. people will but it's all. But you got to think about it. How is he getting this information? No, it's out there. But it's I think he, he's there. saying a lot of things that people don't appreciate being said. Because there's a lot of stuff that we could... Like, we talk about fucking gang politics and shit all the time on here. But we just... We talk about things that are clearly in the public domain. Mm. I think people get pissed off about Swamp Stories because... Like a, rumors? He'll be talking about some dude that fucking got killed in the 90s that, you know, 40 people on Earth remember who this dude mm-hmm. is. But all of a sudden, he's telling this fucking story that is, like, bringing it up so that the family's probably seeing it. His friends are seeing it. Mm-hmm. And maybe sometimes he doesn't get the details is all completely right so all of a sudden the guy who was actually there is pissed off i mean to me bare minimum this guy should have a shooter with him at all times probably after this sometimes he clowns cities too oh yeah and that's oh, the God. funniest part is that he'd be he'd be cutting out be like san, san, san diego he'd be oh, on san diego san diego's guys. murder rate ain't shit like they're like talking about like they're so pussy that shit right there Oh man, yeah. Mitchy Slick, Slick is coming to the SoundCloud yeah, show. No, facts. he's pressing your line, Cemetery. Now get out. <laughs> I don't know if this is true. That would just be so random if it like this is making I me think, check my DMs right now to see if he's responding to me in real time. I think I think that they're just trying to just find no response yet. They're just trying to find uh, who he is, bro. They don't, like like. What if it is this dude? We're gonna keep getting theories like of who it could be. For keep making like, his, keep making your videos. I like them. Yeah, but I, I, now his life is way different because you are mixed up in the politics way more than the average person. True. You know what I thought about too, like gang banging clout is at like an all time high right now. Oh, it's crazy. Where like. It's probably niggas hitting him up like, yo, do a video about my hood. For sure. Which is shit that you would never have heard, like, what, like five years ago? For sure. You kill someone. You feel like you're not getting enough credit for it. So you hit up Swamp Stories. You're like, yo, I got a, I got a stack for you. Make a video that is alleging that I killed this dude. I, now, I'm hoping that the cops don't watch this video and think that you have a point. But could you please, because I want the streets to think that I caught this body. People on YouTube are doing a better job finding shit out then the police that's what Mo the lawyer told us he, he, Flacco cheered he was so happy when he, when he told him Flacco that, that YouTubers help the cops solve murders <laughs> Flacco cheered <laughs> he cheered yeah, he's nah, like yeah I'm a- <laughs> he said, like, "We got to get these dusty Negro mites off the off the streets." That wasn't the exact thing he I, said. I it, see, was, it was roughly that. I, yeah. I'm seeing time and time now that Flacco was starting to uh, get soft on uh, street soft shit. Soft on crime. No, like he's starting to like I like certain like, people. I see it to now. Understand? He's right. starting to understand a lot more though. That that it's okay for some people to kill people. No, not even not even just to kill. <laughs> not him, even but as long that, as their yeah. music's good, or they're kind of cool. I think before he came to California, he just thought everybody that did crimes was just like these yeah. savages. They didn't have no personalities. A lot of people, they a lot of good people, people are, are really born into the circumstances. Yeah. And bro. he's meeting people now. And he's like, oh, he's a cool guy. I don't believe that he's with this. I think, oh, he's a cool guy. I don't believe this. And I see it now. Like think about it. Flacco's from Liberia. And then he moves to North Dakota, the pussiest place on earth. He tries to like. He, he's, now you North, sound like yeah, Swamp yeah. He wants, yeah, the North Dakota so, goons no, are going to come Dakota find you. He wants, he wants to reconnect with some kind of like sense of danger 
He left that behind when he left Liberia, which again is the home of General Butt Naked. He's probably more, way more dangerous than uh, yeah, exactly. But then, seen. what does he do? He gravitates towards making content about the most violent people that he could possibly find. Although, to be like fair, he did Adam. No gang members. But then, <laughs> before scary. that, he was doing videos about Dr. Umar, and apparently that wasn't really like bringing in the numbers that he wanted. And then he called and <laughs> told him his lights are on, <laughs> I mean, off. He called Dr. Umar and said that. No, he called like his fucking light company. And told him that the lights were, were not on in the establishment. Some crazy shit. Wow. It was funny. We're, we're dangerously close to turning this into a flocko pod right now. Anyway, the, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we got that on the open about Swamp Stories. And I'm looking forward to his response. Because that could be one of the biggest things we've heard of in a long time. You never, you would never expect the SoundCloud, you know, Realm grimy to... rapper world that we're talking about here to overlap with, like, the gangster world. So this would be, like, like, the perfect collision. I feel like AD has, is, is so blind to that whole scene. Yeah, he has era. no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> Have you heard of the Suicide Boys? Um, yeah, I heard of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you heard, like, one song? Um, no. If, if, if you had to pick them out of the lineup, you think you could? The Shitty Boys. That's different. <laughs> it's, That's totally two different, different. boys. <laughs> oh, totally different style boys. Two different boys, man. Shout out my boy, Baby Tron, man. Shout, yeah, out, shout out to the boys TV shout show. Shout out to Stan Will. Shout out to the, the boys that you be hooking up with. Um, Isn't that the show where the, 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 some small nigga climbed into somebody's dick or something yes, like yes. that? I didn't even finish watching the season, so I don't know if that happened again. Amazing season. Yeah. You don't know if it happened again? Yeah, well, I, I didn't keep watching it. Hero orgasm, so I got to know. What does that mean? How do you feel about Doge? How do you feel about Doja Cat shaving her head? Yeah, I, okay, first of all, why came, is this a topic? It came a long way. I didn't like when she did this. Because when women shave their head, typically it's thought of as a sign that they're losing their mind, hence like the mm. Britney Spears thing. And with Doja Cat she shaved the eyebrows too, right? Yeah, and even that. Like, dude, X lost his mind at a certain point and shaved his eyebrows. That's kind of a thing. He didn't uh, shave his head though. Kept the he, hair. Nah, he knew the hair was crucial. I don't think she lost her mind. I think she's doing this for like attention. Yeah, or I something. think she just like, bro, it's Doja Cat. She's like, you know, like she's just like kind of art, artsy and weird. Is this and weird for you? You were, you were hanging out in the ketamine lounges Here with her, go. man, and now Here, here she go. is, the biggest star in the world, shaving her head. Pretty cool. Please grow it back because you're bad. And right now you're bald. Yeah, somebody that's why told it Doja Cat. And I'm trying to indulge in that. Right. <laughs> how could I be homophobic? I can't even tell you how, like, from me not knowing what the fuck you were talking about mm. to now, I probably heard that song literally five million times. It's probably one of the bigger UK rap songs, realistically. Of, of, probably, of, like, I feel like in the, history. The Cole Bennett video is going to propel that into, like, the massive la hits. The last time. Status, I think. Last time I looked, it was at like at least like 16 million or something. I wonder if it's a shit. trend on TikTok yet. Oh, are I've been spending a lot more time sure. on TikTok. Money yeah, me too. Totally me honest. too, honestly. TikTok is very. No, you know what? I'd be on YouTube Shorts. Oh, that's a good I, I know, YouTube not enough. The YouTube Shorts be busting. These are the only YouTube Shorts I'm interested <laughs> in. I got to take a YouTube piss. I'll be right oh, back. my fucking God. Talk man. about some cool stuff. So about cocaine, my Oh, friend. my God. So tell, tell us some coke stories from back in the day again. Coke wars. Some some weird coke stories? Swamp I don't stories. have any weird coke stories. Uh, roll the intro. Uh, I'm Bam. <laughs> Bam. 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 Oh, you look. Bam. He turned the corner, saw him, did Bam. Bam. What's up, AD, man? Listen, listen. The people want to know from you when the fuck... Are you about to start rolling out this new music, man? I've heard so much of it that I'm like, like I thought you were gonna beat me to uh to start start dropping. I had to get out of my situation. It's done now. Really? Yep. I didn't know this. Yeah. Nobody well, did. But now, wow. Off to the races. Well, you, well, you you gotta elaborate a little bit. I now. was supposed to drop a song yesterday, but I think it's coming out Friday now. Me and Lance Strip Chip. Okay. Yeah. Well, nigga, speak on elaborate on the situation. What what, what was going on? No, it wasn't bad. It was just, you know, I had taken an advance, a large advance, and I had a balance. And how you gotta, you how gotta, large are we talking? You just got to just know you got to clear that mm, motherfucker. Yeah, I know, I know. If you don't clear it, then, then you, you, you in the red. You got to get out of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, but luckily, I fell in love with all this podcasting and streaming and shit. I think, I, yeah. I think I'm cleared on, on my, uh, I think I recouped my shit. Oh, already, I'm done. Man. I recouped. I'm done now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like you, you didn't, you didn't decide to re up with the same people. Nah. Mm. I got a new situation. What are you talking about? Uh, Ad's uh, rapper situation. 
What rapper? <laughs> this you. rapper. Oh. No, I told him I had a I had a um I had to clear my, my balance. I had an advance and I, I had to clear it. It's wow. done now. Yeah. Thank God. Um honestly, I was trying to think like was the most large lump sum of money I ever got? I was either from from that some shit like that or Probably from the Ninja Jumper Live show. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. All right. Moving that was, on. That was the, the, the least amount of money. Moving on. Moving <laughs> on. You, you made Coke sales more, more than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wrote it was 100K in a day. Yeah. Hey, sh- just know that I didn't go to my pocket. So stop telling people that. When are you going to change the high roller design? Because as we've seen, mm. Yeet might have a competing high roller come out. That's kind of crazy, How right? How do you feel about that? Would that fuck shit up? Well, no. I don't think... Uh, you're not really familiar with the, uh, the underground shoe game. But no, that guy... Did you get them? I think I did. Me and that guy actually released uh, those shoes around the same time. Uh-huh. We spoke like... Because this was a whole thing on the podcast at one point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, not really, because we spoke like... Like, okay, I posted the picture of mine, and then I checked my DMs, and then, like, I had seen that he had just posted his, like, a couple days before. Mm. And if anybody who knows anything about manufacturing, there's no possible way that, right. that like, I could have saw his shit or vice versa Were you- and made it... Like, were you more comfortable with this very, very similar shoe style being out there in the world when it seemed like they were doing mostly marketing with, like, Brendan Schaub? And now it feels like... Was he? He's gravitating towards Yeet. I mean... That's your favorite rapper! I I won't say my favorite rapper, but I fuck with Yeet. You are on his dick. You felt a certain way about it, huh? No, why why would I feel some type of way about this, like... This, uh, Cause it's not okay. It's not There's really competition. Now. You're it's in not the really same world. Yeah, but it's not really competition because, like, bro. First of all, it's enough money out here for all of us, bro. Let's really be honest. Like, are you scared? A, no, not at all. Like, there, there, there's enough money out here for all of us. Uh, we, first of all, like. To the simple-minded people, it may look similar, but, like, bro, it's two, it's two completely shoot, uh, like, silhouettes. Let me ask you something. Are you planning? And we do, and we do way different colorways. Are ways. you going away from the shoes just kind of being focused around just having the Dice logo there? Or no, is no, that no. forever? So, no, no, no. So, like, that's going to be, like, my, like, staple where, like, we're going to have that one shoe that's no matter, like, Right. No matter what, like and just do different color variations. If it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But True. what we are doing is we're adding little trinkets and little little changes here, so we are in the clear one, and then two, just so we, it has like that real customized feel, and it just like feels higher quality, more to offer, and like just like those little details is what makes people like lose their fucking mind. Mm. Like right now. I'm fuck it. I'm gonna just leak it right now. I'm working on like changing like something on the back. So basically, you want to change everything by like thirty percent, so you can. So you put a poker chip on the back. Yeah, but Desto Dub's head. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that was just for the collab. But okay. the poker chip is coming because it's like a it's like a three D embossed. So it's like gonna be like engraved in there, and then you can like feel it. It's like like it's like a button. Uh, like remember like the Reebok pumps, and it had like the. Yeah, yeah. You like, should do that. You should make pumps. I, that would take a lot of engineering work. Little little pumps. Really oh yeah. No, okay. You know what I you know Hi, what pumpers. I, you know what I really want to do? Shout out to Brian Pumper. You know what I really want to do, and I shouldn't even say this right now, Cocaine? but no, I'm, I'm gonna make <laughs> some Heelys. Some high roller Heelys? Like get it? Like high rollers. I'll rock those. That's smart. They're coming. I, as long as you're I'm waiting a, on Adam to invest. He's appropriating poker culture. Yeah, I literally know nothing about Gambling, gambling at or, all or anything <laughs> it's your first Fuck time you. ever seeing a deck of cards no i don't even how many cards are in a deck of cards seven jesus i don't know <laughs> seven six <laughs> Wait, oh me, oh i thought you meant like i thought you meant in the hand 25? never mind what was your guess oh like i don't know 50 very close 52 really I'll okay it off. there we go Throwing some jokers. Yeah, I thought you 54. meant. I thought you meant like, 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 how much are you supposed to have in the hand, like, when you are no. playing? Okay, but no. I'm, you know, I'm a crap shooter. I don't play with the guards. I'm a shooter. That blackjack shit is like. It's too, I don't goes, got blackjack. Go way too fast. That's the one where you like, oh, give me fucking a thousand on red. Give me ten thousand on black. That's roulette. Um, that's roulette. Oh, okay. 
Gambling is a terrible idea. Yeah. All forms of gambling. I love will, gambling, man. Yeah, but, but I just want you to accept that every bet you place in a casino is a negative EV bet, which means it's losing you money in the long term, even mm. if it makes you money in the short true. term. True. Really? Yeah. That's true. So okay. I think that's important. I, I don't think that, that gets reiterated enough. Yeah, I've never and heard it, that before. And it's kind of strange for me as a person who like came up playing poker because, to me, this is so unbelievably obvious. But I think a lot of people, when they're watching shit on stake, they don't really get it. <laughs> it's like every time you spin a slot, it's like you bet 50 cents and you got 49 cents back long term. See, well, that's, best why, case scenario. that's why when I play like craps, <laughs> I like to bet like certain odds and stuff like right. that. So like, if it's, and, if it's a for 10, the record, that I has, put like a ten right. hard ten. If I hit a hard ten, I'm gonna get right. The but three, for the record, times the odds. Nothing you do betting wise can affect the fact that each bet you place in a casino is a losing bet. Damn, Damn near, that's no, deep. One hundred percent. Unless you're a card. Well, counter. why do you do it then? Why do you Poker, do it? Poker's different. Poker, you can have an advantage skill wise. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, because you've been studying the game and yeah, just playing it for so people long. People suck on average. Yeah. But if I were to go and play in a high level tournament that costs twenty thousand to enter, I'll cost pro- twenty just to enter. They have ones that are a million to enter. Yeah, I believe. Wait, that. what's but, the most you won? Like thirty k. But uh, didn't you say you just lost that the other day and got it back? Mm, yeah, because that was just high stakes cash. Mm, but that's so a tournament. Like, no, at, but, like you ever went to a casino? Oh. I've entered tournaments for like six hundred bucks and won like thirty k. That's fucking I'm crazy. I'm talking about going to the casino. How much have you won going to a casino? I don't gamble. Oh, oh it's just okay. going to a casino and playing poker? Play, yeah, yeah, 20, play poker. 30, something like that. I really, I've always, it's 20 always, grand? My best days gambling have always been like 20 or 30K from playing poker most. And, and lost, too, really. My most Fuck. in dice was 6,000. Wow. And that was a lot. Like In dice, like, di- hood dice or? No, craps. Craps. Yeah, the crap table. I seen you running up in Vegas. Honestly, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, I made like three that night. But it's like... Okay. Kids, stay away. Yeah, right. Okay. I okay. lost a bad lost so, pastime. I lost so much money doing that shit, though. Yes. No, hey, wait. No, it's, and so you can, much. too. Kids, if you get into gambling, you will lose money, too. In the I moment. told you. I had an, I had a, I got an advance, yeah. and I spent like 60% of that the shit. That podcast, you told us. Yeah, when I heard. You, that's just crazy. Very good point. But also, <laughs> yeah, that when I heard that, I was just like, that's, that's sad. Yeah, but, that, but like, I see the ambition of where you were going with that, but like. It's the root there that is the problem. The ambition is good. Yeah. Well, that's why the I idea did. that you're gonna make something of yourself through gambling is the problem. How did you? How did you find? No, a, that's why they they get you drunk because you start believing it. Yeah. Yeah. What, what you know what I'm saying? saying? How did you find a way to pornify your water? What do you drinking mean? Porn, <laughs> drinking porn water. It's like porn hubs awards. Oh, I know. <laughs> Melvin Farmer was so confused about this earlier. What kind of uh, porn hub? No. What's how the, was that with Melvin Farmer? Fire. Fire. Charleston White got exposed big time. Wow. Josh, can I get this refilled? Josh, can I get a... I am positive. Josh, I'm feeling a little parched. Yeah, Josh, I really need to wet my whistle right now. Hey, hey, hey. He just gave me a cup. Hey, what was that... A cup full of joints. Hey, what was that thing you... uh, What was that thing you and Linda posted? It was like some like restaurant or something, but it was like Taco Bell at the same time. Oh, yeah. we uh, So BJ Novick started this company called Crave. Okay. It's at... E- Crave Cafe? No, no. no. It's, it's called, called it's, Chain. Is that That's it. Chain. chain. I got you, brother. It's like at Eat Chain yeah. on uh, Instagram and shit. And mm-hmm. basically like the idea... And I guess that BJ Novak like came up with this idea on a podcast. He's a chef, right, by the way, right? He's not a chef, but he has a chef. It's like a collaboration okay. thing with, with a, a okay. really well-known chef, I guess. Okay. And uh, basically like the idea is like they want to do a restaurant where you can get all your favorite fast food things, but like really high-end fine versions dining of versions of that, right? Mm-hmm. But th- they don't have a restaurant yet, but they've been doing That's these fine. pop-ups. Yeah. And so this one was like the, what is it? The crunchy gordita fucking Taco oh, Bell thing crunch, or whatever, yeah. but they made it with like Wagyu and like fucking... Ooh, and no, it, it like, looked fire. And, and it's like, they make it all about it being limited edition. There's only 70 per pop-up and we got these tickets to get the fucking crunch wrap. Mm. I'm like, I don't even know if I ever ate this thing at Taco <laughs> Bell. Crunch I might have had busted. it like once or twice from yeah. Taco Bell. But Crush Raps is we got the extreme version of it, and I didn't get a parking ticket, even though you're not supposed to park there without a permit. I want the extreme version of a Mexican pizza. That's probably that, be yeah, great. That sounds good. Maybe BJ Novak will do that soon. Yeah, but like, yeah, like I just I saw that on your story, and I clicked on it, and I was hella interested. Like, what the fuck is this? I've had a lot of people uh, quite curious about it since that uh, since we dropped that. Yeah, so, so was story? that was our little yeah. Saturday night date. She had like a half a glass of liquor, and she got fucking wasted. <laughs> she had to go to sleep right when we got back. Well, yeah, so 
I can't just pull up and get this Wagyu thing no, whenever. It was like a very limited mm. thing. It was like a, it's basically they're taking like the whole hype beast model of like making it a limited number of things and whatever, and then taking it to this like fast food, fine dining thing. Food, it's smart. Man, yeah, man. it's really smart. Has anybody Honestly, ever had Mr. Beast Burger? No, I want to try it though. Okay, but how you, was it? You know how Mr. Let's Beast Burger day. works, right? Is that they, there, there is no Mr. Beast Burger. It's like, it's a ghost kitchen. It's like ghost it's kitchen. Not, right? No, it's not a ghost kitchen. It is a ghost kitchen. No, it's not. They have a ghost kitchen. By definition, is like a non-retail space. It's just like a private kitchen where they make food and they send it out. What Mr. Okay. Beast does is they establish contracts right. with all these different chains that make you know a burger and fries, and they say to them, "Hey, like you don't if you don't have business right now, you can yeah. fulfill these Mr. Beast orders." So it's like yeah, the, right. the Mr. Beast burger doesn't necessarily have any consistency with any other wow. burger places. It's it's just like an idea. So it's like totally decentralized. They, they give most of the money to the Mr. Beast Burger, which is pretty crazy. You know who has like a great chain? Who? Steve Aoki. You know Ioki, who has a great what, chain? OT Genesis. Yeah, he does. Mm. Aoki Pizza. You have oh yeah, yeah. you always before. you always talk about how that's your favorite LA pizza. Really? I used to roast you for Steve that years Aoki ago. No, that's not my pizza? favorite LA pizza. You did say that. In the valley point. That like the Valley NoHo Pizza and Aoki Pizza is good. I'm not even aware of any like famous yeah. pizza spots in LA. It's not really yeah, a pizza city, right? Like my, I ain't gonna lie. My go-to right now, like on a regular day, is like Jersey Mike's. Now you eat Bro, Jersey Mike's I every day. I swear to not every God. day, but like at least a couple times. A if, week, I I wanna, if I want to, if I want a sandwich, Mike's. I'm going to Jersey Mike's. You're I'm gonna being be fed honest with you. If you eat Jersey Mike's every day. <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, bro. But, I ha- but that's that's like what I would eat for lunch and dinner. Jersey Mike's is like my Saturday cheat meal. Yeah. What do you get from there? The fucking the cheesesteak. Chipotle cheesesteak sometimes. I get, I get, I sometimes. get yeah. chicken cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, no, what? That's the best one. I'm missing the whole point. The chicken nah, cheesesteak is the chicken. If you ever get chicken, you can get steak. I like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. The What's, chicken I one like is better. Charlie's too. The In general, one. why would you ever get chicken when you can get steak? The chicken one is better, bro. You now, you go to Popeye's, they don't have steak. So uh, you get Popeyes. chicken. Uh, no, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I don't know what that was. Oh, water. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. The chicken, okay. Uh, the last time I went to Jersey Mike's, they acted like I asked for the craziest thing ever. I basically said, I want a, a chicken Philly and a regular Philly, but just put them together. <laughs> Like, on one, like half chicken, half steak? no, like literally, like mix it together. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. That's, that's heavy. How is that crazy? Like, that's like it's, a spliff. Exactly. I, it was just a spliff sandwich. That's fucking I was, weird. I'm man. not gonna lie. I was high as fuck, and I just Bro, like thought it would be told, good. But no, but you know, you get the 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 halal plates in New York. That's what they'll I'm saying. give you the chicken and the lamb in the same plate. That, that's what I'm saying. And it was I like, fuck with it. It's the same idea. But every time I take a bite, like when I have chicken and steak on the same plate, and I get it in the same bite, I'm like. No, hibachi. Feels kind of unnatural. No, yeah. the hibachi, you go. No, but that that's an example. I like to take a bite with chicken and then take a bite with steak no. and then a bite with shrimp. I'm not combo. I don't want steak mm, and yeah, shrimp. Yeah, not at the same time. It's too complex. My really? mouth can't handle this fucking Bro, frenzy. You take, you take a scoop of rice and you, you, you're not gonna, you're not going to get all three no, meats. you get a little bit of the vegetable. You get like an onion and like a little piece of the and broccoli. And you get shrimp. Then nope. you get the rice and then you get one of the meats okay. for all a right, bite. Okay, okay, I'll give I'll you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll take it back because Taco Mail has a three meat burrito that's what i'm and saying that motherfucker is busting that's what and i'm saying you also you introduced chicken, me to the shrimp. steak and shrimp burrito which it I wasn't it crazy I haven't had it in a long time no, no, no. But it wasn't it, it crazy it was very, very you good. know you know who introduced me into like Surfing getting turf. into getting multiple meats on things pause jerry pot lord back in the day right pot lord would always get a breakfast burrito and get fucking bacon and sausage and like ham or some weird shit and i'm like nigga what do you get why are you get, uh, getting on this meat but when it comes no, no, to no, no, a burrito no, no, no. i don't no, like no. to mess with the natural order of things if they if they're Stock burrito is bacon, eggs, and potatoes, or whatever. Leave it. I, I'm just gonna do that. I don't like. I'm talking oh, about add I'm, sausage. Like I don't want to mix. I am the king. I want to know edits. what your blend is. No. And maybe if I've got it a hundred times, then I can start adding stuff to it and modify the recipe. That surf and turf burrito is like excellent. Wait, from where? That thing is good. But you, from you told cilantro. me. You know, what you did tell me. You told oh, me don't place? don't eat it every week. Yeah, you're because you're gonna burn out on it. Burnt out. I did. I started getting I every did week. That. Okay, I was done. I did that. It's a um, doghouse. They have a. Oh, they have a. I sub, need a glizzy. No, they Pause. have a. They have a breakfast um, menu. It's called uh, bomb ass burritos. At doghouse? Yes, and they get what? And, the, and the burritos, bro. That probably was like I'm so top three on. breakfast burrito I ever had in my life, and I start ordering it like two, three times a week, and now I don't eat it no more. Really? You burnt it out. I'm doing that to the Dialogue Cafe bur- uh, burritos right now. 
I've got it so many goddamn times. The What's Dialogue Cafe? Dialogue. Dialogue Cafe. I'm pretty sure it's some Koreatown shit. Mm. Uh, but it's insanely good. And the fucking iced coffee is amazing. And I just keep ordering it. It's so goddamn good. And you, I'm, you I, know I feel what? like I'm going to fall out of I love with it. I got the best coffee for you. And waffles. What? They have a crazy Waff, coffee. coffee and, and they put a they put a whole bunch of fucking uh, Don't you don't even drink there. coffee? I drink that one. Really? Yeah. Is that good? It's fire. It was like the caffeine hit and you start and doing your waffles. ticks? Yeah. I'm like, nick, 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 Yep. The WB. <laughs> I was watching a girl on uh, on TikTok who has Tourette's, and she she got like 10 million followers, and she just like mid sentence she'll be like, gah, gah, blah, blah, you know? And I'm like, this is kind of like AD. You know what I noticed, though? Like my girl, she was like, you just be busting out the random songs. Yeah, I do that all the yeah. time, too. And it'd be like random. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, Santa, baby. <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> I'll wake up with a, with a random song I haven't heard in days or, or months. God, yeah. And I'll just be singing this song. I make my girl so mad. because she, She's like yeah. not even like a human being until she's had coffee in the morning. And I wake up and I'm just like, boom, look who walked in the room. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. To be, but no. I, I'll be doing the same shit. Like, I why am I singing God, Santa, same. baby, in fucking, what is this, August? I yeah, do the same thing. I wake reason. up, I take a 10-minute shit, and I read Twitter. And then I walk out in my underwear, and I just start talking shit and making jokes that are not appreciated because I have too much <laughs> energy in the morning. Me and my little brother driving, and I'm like banging the Rocky theme song. He's just looking at me crazy. This gets me pumped. Swerving through traffic. <laughs> what the fuck? That and the Karate Kid one. You're the best. Okay. Go around. No, 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 keep you down. You're the best. You're driving and shit like that. You know what I'm You probably never seen any of these movies, huh? What? No, Adam has never seen any of them. Which one am I being accused of right now? Karate Kid. You've never seen that. I've seen Karate Kid. No, you haven't. Wash on, wash off, bitch. Who are you sending $900 to? Let me get $900. Wait, where is it? It's in the Parker playlist. You paying your fucking Ethiopian girlfriend or what? Yeah, what? Ethiopian. You pulling up? A, a uh, I got, I got since I got since nine hundred. You doing yeah, a flaco fact. move? Nah, I got. Oh, you know what? I removed it. What? No, what it? I'm not even gonna play it. I'm not even gonna toy with the algorithm gods. You what? know what I'm saying? Atomic. Da I want a hot dog. Hello. Oh, walked in down the street. <laughs> Tell me only nothing but the dog catcher. <laughs> dog catcher. Woo! Bro, you need to like, you need to do a whole like old West Coast tape where you just sample Why did like. I chase the cat. You better start practicing making music because you're gonna be practicing, locked in nigga, the fucking I've been studio practicing. with AD and like, me. I feel like I don't do this every it's day. It's gonna be like fucking being in the studio with Diddy. The way I'm gonna be calling the shots. In oh, there, I got you. You gonna go. make us walk with cheesecake? Hell yeah! <laughs> walk with your ass down the street. <laughs> Give me a cup of coffee. No, bring us a breakfast burrito. Yeah, get get a cup of coffee and then you gotta balance it on your head on the There's way back. There's definitely a Jersey Mike's across the street from here. I'm going there. Jesus Christ! Sorry, I you just. <laughs> Thank God we're leaving. But yeah. please don't do that. What the <laughs> fuck is sorry, wrong with I'm you? Sorry. I mean, honestly, everybody knows bro, this spot here. Like, no, don't. There's yeah, he- bro, Not the fucking stupid ass fans. There's so many Jersey mics like everywhere. They don't know which one I'm talking that about. That one's not even open. Exactly. Well, why would you? Well, whatever. Right. <laughs> Just ruined it again. <laughs> why do I trust you guys? Why do I give you a platform? <laughs> hey, I was going to say another restaurant, but, but if I would have no, said it, we no, would have gave okay. it away. Yo, but I'm way less paranoid about having fucking random people coming in now that we have armed security so it's like yeah. whatever you got you, you've, had arm, you've had armed security since day one not like that though <laughs> <laughs> not, not that we're actually out there paying attention right uh, Tone been doing a good job He's shout so, out to my nigga Tone, tone man. sets the tone Tone Whoa. sets the tone Whoa. I didn't even do that on purpose That's, I think like a rapper now Tone what sets the tone what song are you thinking in your head right now one that I wrote it's called Tone sets the tone keep going me and House Phone trying to bone Oh, you wrong. Brian Sebastian on my tee, not no V loan. I'm fucking a dog wearing a cone. <laughs> you always wasting bars. Why don't you go make a song? Mm. You can't make a good song. You ain't Paul, Post Malone. You ain't Paul McCartney. Don't Nigga, even start me. You look like Cisco because you in a thong. You should go be a security guard. Don't Paul Bart me. Okay, y'all both rhyming different shit now. Because <laughs> I'm in my own lane. <laughs> Off the Mary Jane snorting cocaine on a plane. This nigga think he lit because he interviewed the game. Ooh. Mm. No, I think I'm lit because I'm smoking that propane. Mm. I think that I'm lit because I do my voice like Bane. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't Hank Hill. <laughs> I take pills. And I wild out. And I smoke Sherm. <laughs> 
Like Mike Sherm. You dirty as fuck, you probably got a ringworm. You dirty as fuck, you covered in germs. Mm. <laughs> like the Mucinex monster. I signed my life to no jumper. I didn't even read the terms. You sure did. <laughs> this is a true fact. <laughs> 360! You're looking like a dyke. You should go get a perm. I'm about to grab your nutsack and make you squirm. It is a Friday, but house phone looks like Big Worm. Niggas be doing weird shit, man. Shout out to my nigga Germ. Mm. He don't even know who the suicide boys are. Yeah. <laughs> you should go commit suicide in a car. <laughs> Matter of fact, where's OG suicide? He can't be far. <laughs> 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 Kurt Cobain committed suicide, but he's still a star. You the type of nigga that drive a BMW, but you don't even know what Anything models about, your car. Okay, y'all niggas about that. Everything is just here. <laughs> what, what's the license plate number? No, 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 no. <laughs> what's that, that guy's name that, that was rapping about you? Yeah, that license shit was funny. C- Lil Drop Top, right, bro? That <laughs> That's his name, Lil Drop Top. Lil Drop Top. I seen House Phone pull up in a crop top. I seen his belly. Bill it Clinton and Epstein knew your pop pop. You need to get on TikTok and stop trying to make hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> Poetic Flacco said you had a thick cock. Oh. Poetic Chungus got me in a lip lock. Uh. <laughs> That's a makeout session. Bitch, stop. You yeah. headed into a recession. How's phone battling depression? <laughs> <laughs> You the type of nigga get gifted jewelry and don't even wear the necklace. Oh, hey, he killed it. Yeah. Right young there. and reckless. I might pull up with a tech, bitch. You look like drama from Young and Reckless. You look like drama from Atlanta. Matter of fact, you look like you could use a secret Santa. You look like George Costanza. You look like you ain't never been to Lantana. <laughs> you like you listen to country grammar. Oh, and God. You look like you have bad grammar. You look like when you fuck, you got bad stamina. <laughs> when you fuck, I can't stand you. <laughs> that means you want me to lay down? And let me go to Pound Town. Are you down? <laughs> you got a weird spray tan on. You looking brown. I'm the king. I deserve a crown. You got a bucket hat. That's fucking whack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why well, you dissing the homie brand, bro? What's up with that? No, Desto Dub, that's my cuh. <laughs> but that hat, nah, that's pretty fly, fly bro. <laughs> now you're just talking. Yeah, nigga just, nigga talk, just yeah, talking yeah, yeah. shit. Nigga. Took it back. I hate, I hate when somebody admits in the rap that they don't believe something that they just said in the rap. Oh, fucking I hate weak. that. And I hate when they finish the sentence and then have to like rhyme the next word in the bar. Sometimes you got to fold, man. Sometimes you got to fold. Sometimes you gotta fold. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. Exactly. Let me hit you with this. Hmm. Skeet and Kim K have come to a decision that this is over. Word on the streets is that Pete was getting a little too serious, a little too fast. To me, the first sign of that was when he got a tattoo of the kid's birthday. That's crazy. That's some weird ass shit. That's fucking weird. I don't understand. Like, I, I, I could fuck with the kids so hard. But still be conscious of the fact that this might not work out and that I don't want these fucking kids' birthdays on me after that. Fuck, bro. Okay, That's look. some weird shit, man. You know I what, don't care how long. You, you know thinking? what it is? That's not your nah, kids. Nah. What you thinking? Because you know what it is, bro? Okay. You know those weird YouTube videos? They just, like, explain shit that you didn't need to know. And I'm like, someone basically just, like, explained his whole dating history mm. and how he's just, like, he really just been dating to social climb. You and think? like. Basically, you don't think he could have been in love with Kim K? She seems I pretty mean, bro, Yes, a lot I, of the best, most elite dudes in our culture no, have fallen fact. in love with her at some no, point. No, no, no. I'm not saying that that it's not possible that he wasn't actually in love with her. But I'm saying like, okay, this girl explained to me the term love bombing, and that's what is exactly that? what he's doing. What's, when, when you overwhelm her with love? Yeah, like you're like you're trying to just like, oh my god, I love you so much, I care about you, like, off rip. Right, because, okay, this me. This is the narrative, you're, you're a, a sucker for love, um, the, <laughs> this is the narrative that they are putting out there about Pete, and I don't necessarily know that this is true, and I want to leave the door open for it to not be true, because I really have no fucking clue, but they're saying that Pete was warned by people in his entourage, in his social circle, don't 
be so overwhelmingly into her. You know, don't don't love Bob. Play it Basically, cool. Play be it cool. cool. She's just been in a relationship yeah. for like six years or however long she was with Kanye. Long, Hella long. Long ass time. Had mad kids. When a girl like is five in that kids. position and she gets single. She's trying to have fun. She wants to have some fun. Now, if you're her boyfriend, I think it's like on you to like give her some room to breathe because she's naturally going to want to. And it's Kim Kardashian. Yeah. It's not a regular bitch. And, right. and, I'm not saying she needs to go suck a bunch of dicks, but you should definitely probably be a little bit more chill with that. I think that getting the kid's names tattooed, to me, that's the kind of thing that's going to scare her off. She probably doesn't want that energy. You know she what doesn't, I, you know what I think She that wants happened? to be a hoe right now. Well, maybe that too. You know what I think that happened? What? And it makes perfect sense. Mm. They're saying now that he proposed to her. Oh, That's what I heard too. Fuck. So if he proposed to her and she uh, turned it down, uh, she's you know, down. a lot of people they break up after that fucking, yeah. uh, you, the, you know, the proposal. You think that's somewhere not fucking that, with you none think of that. that somewhere there's a video of him doing this proposal and and her saying no, like those viral videos, but with them, but it's never going it to come be. out. I don't, Pete's not letting that come out. But I think, <laughs> but Hell I think, no. I think that's what happened. I think that he proposed to her. She said no, and the relationship was over after. He's that. tripping, bro. It hasn't even Nigga, been. If you propose to somebody and they tell you no, the relationship is no. Done. When you make no. yourself too yeah, available, I'm saying he's tripping for even proposing when to her. When you make yourself real. too Nigga, available, if you get if you get your girl's kids' birthdays tatted on you, that's not too far fetched to think that you wouldn't propose to this woman. No, of course, I no. I think he, he I think he did. I think I think it happened exactly how you just said it happened. And she she was wanting the opposite. She wanted it to be she a little bit to, less intense. She still she she's like this is the and she still like I just got through with a divorce. Like this is the weird. You're a comedian, nigga. Free. I'm about to let him pipe me out. You think at the end of the day, no white man could really lock her control down, control her heart? Because this is why does got to be a white? This is like one be... of her only forays into white dick, right? Kardashians, man, they like black men. Now, allegedly, the dimensions of his dick are quite black, oh, but man. I mean, I'm just saying, it, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. Maybe it's not always about that because she's like, man, fuck this nigga. Well, everybody says he got a monster cock, so I mean, I'm that's just all saying, you hear. That's all I care. <laughs> that's all you want to know. If I interview him, what are we talking about? Your dick. That's it. That's the first thing you're going to talk about? Of course. About? Fucking weirdo. No, but look, look, look. <laughs> I'm telling you, this video was pretty good. It explained, like, uh, I, I watched some random video on YouTube. Like, first he started dating the bitch from, like, some random show he was uh, on, he on MTV. On That's yeah. what I'm saying. And, like, was, he, okay. he, like, he, like... Upgraded. I mean, bit. ain't you supposed to upgrade? What's Facts, wrong with but upgrading? Like, it's you nothing suppo- wrong with that. To. But I don't know, man. Like it seemed hella strategic. Once you've bro. had Ariana Grande, there's, there's no, there's nothing few, else you can go. There's very few ways you can go up. But Kim K would maybe be an example of That's how you the can, only one, you're yeah. supposed to go up. Mm. But like. How are you conveniently only going to, like? Bro, you're on Saturday Night Live. You're picking. Yeah, you're right. You're are, right. Or are, 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 are I'm saying I don't know. Maybe I'm just a grimy bro, nigga. Like I, have, I, I would take a dip back into you have the biggest some regular stars bitches come at one point. Saturday Night Live, and you're building a relationship with them, and you're doing fucking skits with them. Like, it's, it, oh, you got you Josh got one? Oh, the eye. <laughs> I'm so oh. sorry, Josh. Did I you really get one though? No, I, th- I thought I was pointing it down. Nigga, he shot Josh. I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> Yo, this thing is this is not meant for kids. Josh, I'm so sorry. That nigga pop Josh. Wait, wait, you didn't even see a fly. No, just, I did. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I wasn't just I doing know, it. I don't know where he was going with that. No. Dude, th- there was someone I'm who so got sorry, who got hit by me the other day. Who'd I hit? Here, Josh, take this. Give us a job. Oh fuck no. <laughs> wow. You don't think I'm you got so- it? No, I think it's still flying. My nigga Josh like this. He said, "Yo, okay." <laughs> the salt took a minute to but, hit. He but said, yo, the, the thing that they're saying is that Pete right now is in like rehab, like a mental health facility. Bro, that, nigga, because of Kanye's seen that bullying. Oh, because of Kanye's I bullying. I wouldn't say it's Kanye's bullying. Well, that's well, what nah, they're saying. No, fuck no, him because nigga, he was. I would, he he was, probably thought. He probably thought that. Damn, this is it. This is my world. He's spending time with the kids. He got them mm. tatted on him. Nah. He's he's going against Kanye. He's doing this, and then he proposes to this woman. He's holding hands she at tells Cheesecake him no. Factory. Fart. I mean, I mean, I'll say fart. Heart drops. Do you think he went to rehab for a, a broken heart? For sure. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. Can you do that? I, I mean, like, he I, did it apparently. I feel, like there's like, I feel like there's like a Kid Cudi song or something called like re- rehab for a broken heart. I Listen, I don't know. Getting, but anyway, getting, Kanye won't be singing that since he yeah, hates him. Hate Having him. a bad breakup is the worst fucking feeling, bro. <laughs> yeah. People, look, think about it. People go crazy over love, bro. People, people kill, kill themselves. Kill, killing themselves. Over love, bro. 
killing other people. Yes. That lady from Slossa and La Brea. I was just thinking about that. Let's talk about it. So there's a woman. I think she's 37. And uh, at first they were saying she was drunk. Apparently, I just saw some news that said that there's no evidence that she was drunk. I heard really? a seizure. A seizure? Well, no. that would make it totally explainable. Then, then there's yeah. no way in fucking hell that they're going to be able to convict her of those murders. And but, it would explain why she was going so fast. I mean, nah. something has to explain it because she came through that fucking intersection going like 85 miles per hour. I think it said it was like 100. I mean, she's she's it's like crazy. a bullet blasting through that intersection. It was so fast that it, it it looked like they sped the video up. It was fucked, and, and they, they just released right. photos of her in court crying her eyes out with the like suicide proof yes, thing. Because on. apparently they're they're scared that she's going to kill herself. I mean, I mean, honestly, that scenario that you're laying out right there that she might have had a seizure actually kind of makes me think about it in a totally different light. Because I was watching it thinking like, oh, you're a monster, like you're a total piece yeah. of shit. But I mean, if it was just, out of her control, that makes a lot more sense. Well, I just read the. I mean, I've only re read the, the normal, you know, consensus that she was arguing with the boyfriend and, and was drunk, trying to kill her. So, but where did that story even come from? And how would you ever I think know? It came yeah. from her sister. Or Why something? would you yeah, ever somebody, know that about well, somebody who just burnt, nearly burnt to death in a car? Right. Well, there. The, I think it was like her family or somebody, somebody from her family her said. But, but somebody could have said, "Hey." She was fighting with her boyfriend, and then the reality could be that oh. she was so fucked up and upset about the boyfriend situation that she had a seizure, and that's why that actually kind of makes more sense. That's to me. crazy, though. Imagine that's... being so mad at your boyfriend and having a breakup that you no, decided to drive yeah. ninety miles per hour through a fucking intersection. Admit that that is kind of hard to believe. That ninety nine point nine percent of people would not do that. Yeah, but you got to think about man. Some people be willing to fucking well, I, I, if, literally if I, if crash I out right now. I would bet on the seizure thing the after seizure? having hear it, heard it and having yeah. absolutely no. Yeah, because it don't. It really don't make no sense. Like why she was going that. And then let's keep it real. Right. If your job is to kill yourself, I don't think you would try to do it that way. Because that just is. You know that what it's a, more likely to kill other people than it is to kill yes. you. Now, granted, she might not have been in a very sane state yeah. of mind when she made this decision. Exactly. But I, it, it not being a decision and it just sort of involuntarily happening. Would they be able? Would to they me. be able to prove that she had a seizure? That's the thing, bro. Medically, this, I would think a doctor might be. This able to case tell. though is it's done. She's done. does she have a history of seizures? Was she? That would help her. Was she in the Benz or she was in the Tesla? I don't know. She was in the Benz. I she think. was in the Benz, right? Really? She was in a Benz. Yeah. That makes it way worse. Benzes are like hard to fuck up. But I'm thinking like if she was in the Tesla, I feel like they 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 could have hacked the system or something and ran the, well, the internal cameras back. That's true. What are you saying? Who's well, saying that? Is that they up to can, date? Huh? Her friend said they were all drunk. No, but That's they the can they said. can test. They probably tested her to make to see if she was drunk or not. Right. So it's gonna come out. Right. No, okay. That's fucking the question crazy, remains, bro. Yeah, now, you guys haven't seen her? Yeah, yeah I've seen, seen her. I've seen pictures of okay. her. Okay, now, not not hot, really, realistically. <laughs> what if she was hot? Would you not give her dick because she had six bodies on her hands? Bro, this ain't even nothing to play with. You don't think that's a fair question? Like, no, is that, You would give her a dick? Is that, what is that six people do? die, bro? I know, but is, is that mean that she you know, can't ever find love? Adam's mind just always goes think, to no. sex. Is so I think possible. it's a fair like, question. If somebody has take. that on their record, <laughs> does that exclude them from you falling in love with them? Well, I would definitely, she's going to jail for life probably. You yeah. would have to marry her and get conjugal okay, visits. Let's so. say they find out that it was a seizure and that it was not intentional. How did they find that out? A doctor. Okay, but we were already talking okay. about that. Would you serve her cock? Possibly. Damn. You know what's fucked up, you too? Grimy. That's right by my manager's house. Fuck, I need to stop doing that. I'm but like, bro. <laughs> 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 no, but listen, no, no, no. Just dox this but no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm saying this for a reason oh, because a piece of shit. his wife is pregnant oh. and there was a pregnant lady that died I feel like in you the would car accident. It was her. No, duh. It's not, I know it's not her, Adam. <laughs> but I'm saying when it first happened, I'm pretty sure I think I think he said that people were hitting like them up, like this making sure she was okay. not go to the gas station on the corner. Fuck, you never I know. know someone's going to blast into you at 85 Literally. miles per hour. You got to go to the that's, random. That's everywhere you could feel like that. You got to go to the random gas station. Like bro, I really, off. I really be in the movie theaters just looking like. I know. I'm driving to Calabasas to go to the gas station now. No, dead ass, right? Just because it's out the way. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's that out the way. Is, that's just it is out the way. It took me like an hour to drive there. It's not gonna take you an hour. Yes, no, it will. It'll take me like forty minutes. It'll take you like yeah. twenty. If minutes. you drive there in the middle of the night, it'll take you twenty minutes. If you yeah. drive there and, during and, the day, it's and any time other than then not oh, in the yeah, middle of the over. night. I was talking about yeah. Calabasas with the game today. 
and uh, he's kind of like trying to convince me to move there. You should. So that we could be buds and play 2K. So you because you're like a celebrity and shit too. Me now? and him on the couch. He's playing 2K. I'm playing poker. Why? Passing the joint back and forth. Why y'all playing different games? Because we're pals. You just love a, just a black man. But why why wouldn't y'all play the same game? Really a rapper. Oh, you pissed because you're from the same freshman <laughs> class as him. He's, he's like, that's my generation, man. You're not allowed to have a black, cool, Compton friend. Adam, we're don't not. you see how this is a conflict of interest? I'm black. That's I'm not cool. My generation. That's not enough for you? That's not my generation. No, you're right. Yeah. yeah. You came out like 13 years after him. Yeah, like 15. <laughs> right. That's actually fucked up. That nigga came out in like 2001. That's actually, definitely your uncle. <laughs> he, he was tapping in with AD like, damn, how am I going to connect with the younger kids? Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> Literally. I, I'm, I'm almost Literally. stepping into Unk territory. Maybe I gotta tap in with this AD kid. I, I never thought about the that. The new kid AD in town. AD from AD, no AD drum, from bro. Compton. And now I'm an Unk. And now you're an Unk. Man, that's dope. Damn. And you're battling against your Unk status the, the, with social media. The circle of life. Yeah. What do you mean? He's eating fucking chicken sandwiches and he's <laughs> what? talking to OMB PZ in his in his basement. Trying okay, to okay, okay, okay. Let's. Fucking speak. Hey, the on Venus it. house is fly, man. No, I'm hey, I'm very proud of myself. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, AD's crib is very cozy, I bro. I mean, if you could bring OMB PZ into the basement, that's gotta say something, right? It's not a basement. My, my fucking room is <laughs> dope. Right, the bottom yeah, floor is honestly hard. The bottom, the bottom floor. It would have to be underground for it. But that's the only. Be a that's the only. That's the only thing on that floor is is that room, right? Yeah, bro. I, yeah. And Think like about how few probably. dope man caves there are in New York or in LA because of the fact that there are no fucking basements. When I went to Ben Baller's house, he had a fly ass basement. He's like the only dude I ever met out here that built a fucking basement. Because he's smart. Sick man. Because he's fucking smart. I like your um the, the your jack shack. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that but that's not a basement. But you got like a, a pink refrigerator. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, it's crazy. But isn't that brand like popular for making like weird colored? I don't fucking know what kind of brand it is. It is. What kind no, of it's like it's like a, 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 I noticed it when I walked in because it's like a that brand is noticed. You well, gotta have a man case, cave. I don't know. But yeah, how did you end up with a pink with pink appliances? My in girl your... decorated the house and I had no involvement in it. And I don't care. <laughs> it's the Jack Shack. Josh, even Josh hooked it. up your equipment, right? Yeah, it's the Jack Shack. Okay, wait. Josh wait. Should hook up my equipment too. I don't do anything. Can we talk about? Uh, can I'm we idiot. talk about OMBPZ fucking bro went crazy sipping the rep <laughs> sipping the repasado? Why, why does he hate no cap? Um, I don't, are they from the same city? No cap clowned him and said, hey, hey you, you off the tequila, you drinking that Casamigos too hard or some shit. But you know, you know, like that, that's like asking somebody, oh, why do you got problems with people in the Compton? Like yeah. certain people, like, like that's just, that's their city. They come from the same city. Yeah. That shit was crazy. I didn't know nothing about like I mean, their history. No cap yeah. is the fucking goat though. I'm not going to hold you. No cap hard. music is fire. Hard. He's Bro, one of the hardest. Nigga, vaccine Stupid. is vaccine is mm. goaded. Both of both version. Yo, you, yeah. you, you you guys want me to tell you something that well, I, I told you guys already in the group chat, but for the fans out there, they're gonna mm. be pretty hyped. Steve O. That's no jumper, crazy. No jumper interview. Crazy Dropping soon. And I like that you leaked that. Adam twenty two on Steve O's podcast as well. Crazy. Can't believe it. You should you should try to get him to There's uh, not too many that I'm like, I'm jealous of. I'm I gotta run it back one. with with you guys. Hopefully, maybe he'll allow us to all crash the the RV. Bro, please, please if don't. If you bring me over yeah. here with you and Steve-O. I wish I could. I'm like, I want to join Jackass. You'll staple your balls for him and try to get some attention? Nah. I'm gonna Steve-O, try. watch this. Hits yourself in the head with a bat. I would like to say that I will be ready for Jackass, but I'm not ready for Jackass. I'm going to try not to do any whippets around him. You know what was the best was when Ayatollah Marv said theater, and I hear Josh <laughs> in the background <laughs> <laughs> laughing because you say it. He's another person who says it like that. Theater? Because AD, my whole time knowing him, I've been like, yeah, why do you say it like theater, theater. instead of theater? Some fucking, that's like some hood shit. That's well, a Compton like. thing, yeah. Yeah, I, I, really, I really do think it's some hood shit. I'm not even trying to be theater. funny. But you know, that's going to be yeah. fucking legendary. We just said it totally different. We said there, let's go to the theater. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> theater. That's we. They'll go to the theater. Let's go. Theater. You, you kind of look like you could be like a like a pr executive producer on Jackass or something. I'm super down. Yeah. I'm not getting my balls stapled. Adam right Knoxville. Now. If they dump Gatorade on my head, I'm going to be pissed. Bro, the, like, it's crazy because like seeing people in the public light for so long is like, and then like not seeing them for a while and then like seeing like how like much they've changed is like fucking Johnny Knoxville is old as shit now like I'm like fuck when did this happen Jasper did a good job on a new oh one. shout out to my fucking nigga man that's that's the uh, he killed it honestly that's the th thing that we were just talking and about shout out Dark Shark. how when you see a fucking 90 year old man it might seem kind of depressing sometimes, like, wow, I'm going to be that fucking old, barely able to talk or move mm. or anything. But really, that's where we're all trying to get to, man. Like, if you can yeah. get that fucking old, if you could die of old age 
Hey, I literally OG suicide in the building. Suicide, OG suicide. I literally went to my people's funeral today. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Ms. Williams. She lived to, to see. I mean, she lived to be at one hundred. Was Pastor Williams there? Rest in peace. No. Rest in peace, Ms. Williams. No, no, sorry, no. Sorry. But I nigga, she lived to be one hundred, bro. That's amazing. And you go to the funeral like you can't like that's a blessing. Like damn, like you can't. Yeah, even, bro. I'm thirty three years old. To think like I'm like damn, almost seventy more years left on this earth. Like that's a lot. Bro, my mom is happy. You think you're getting to 103? No. I'll, <laughs> me personally, I want to get to like past 80. I get past 80. I'm cool. Okay. What were you saying? Yeah. But I was what saying my you? I was saying my my mom is half of that, bro, and she's fucking going through it like that. Mm. That shit sucks, bro. Yeah. I mean, I think the wrong way to look at it is like, oh, I got 70 years. The right way to look at it is like, shit, I might not have six months. No, you I'm never go, know. Oh, I gotta, yeah. I gotta have a good time now and like try to but live real, the life I want to live. Realistically, right now. like, how long do you want to live? Uh, I mean, realistically, I, I don't want to be in diapers and have yeah, to change. I mean, but but that but like I just said, that could happen to you. True. At, if you at earlier age, if your parents like like I've seen like all the men in my family, they all die around like you know seventy five, eighty. That's cool. So that's realistically, good. that's probably well, when I'm gonna die that. unless something else Interviews. negative impacts my health. <clears throat> Porn. <clears throat> Porn. Porn will take AIDS. you out. I'm gonna die smoking that Kush. 75 80. That, is, that, is cool. that might help you get to 80, to be I honest. I just want to make it to that age so I can just be a streamer because I feel like I'll probably be a pretty cool streamer at 80. Damn, that's good. That's a great <laughs> idea. I'm not gonna lie. I just want to like have a relationship with my grandchildren. Mm. You feel me? I just want to be successful. Yeah. They're not gonna want a relationship with you. They're gonna be like, this guy's creepy <laughs> as fuck. His grandpa <laughs> be weird as shit. Keep him away from me. <laughs> what? What the He fuck? keeps talking about the WB. <laughs> <laughs> what is the WB? The WB. <laughs> what is this frog? He's speaks up. Mama. What's mama? What's <laughs> not the mama? <laughs> My mom told me she got third place in a Shirley Temple lookalike contest. That's fire. And what does Shirley heard, Temple look like again? Pull yeah. her up, Josh. Let's, let's I have no idea. That's a good drink. I know what the drink. I'm gonna is. tell you if yeah, a lot of people don't seem to understand that Shirley Temple was a person. Yeah. Everybody I say it to is wait, like, wait, that's the orphan girl. Yeah, she had red hair, didn't she? Oh yeah, Shirley Temple. I guess my mom kind of looked Nigga, like this. Your mom this. don't got red hair. I know, but she wanna. She did good in a lookalike contest. Well, that's that's, that's, that's Annie, right? Yeah, that's a cute kid right there. Can't that's, lie. That's a is pretty Shirley adorable kid. I wonder what no. her, what was up with like her personality as a young girl that it's she was so a hard famous. Life. Yeah, she what, was, was just... she like the first famous little kid like Probably. in movies? Really? Wow. And Frank. Damn. And Frank is very different. This is not even. <laughs> there's no similarities between this. Although Game was just accusing me of, of supporting I'm Hitler. I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean it like that. He accused me of supporting Hitler. I just meant like people knew who. Okay. Did she like dance for the Nazis or something? Who? No, she danced for like the our side. And Frank? That's Shirley Temple? Better. No, and Frank didn't <laughs> dance for anyone. <laughs> that nigga's cold. <laughs> Whoa, is that is that her dead? Whoa. Did you just post up? Did you just show us a photo yeah, of Shirley Temple in her yes, coffin? Yes, it says Shirley Temple dies. Look at her. I know, and Josh is showing us. I've her. never seen her. I'm as not a gonna lie. Though. I'm not gonna lie. She looks pretty, pretty, like laid up in the pretty fucking pretty. thing. Pretty. She looks like pretty still. Yeah, but still, you can't say it like that. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> she looks pretty, be damn beautiful. What the fuck? Why was she so dolled up in the Certain hospital? Certain people, you don't want to see them get old. It's like the Harry Potter guy. Mm. I don't want to see him get old. What what the fuck that nigga look well, like? He's now? a bitch. He disowned J.K. Rowling over controversial turf Twitter views. Oh shit! Shut the fuck up. Yeah, nigga, you wouldn't even be rich or famous if it wasn't for that exactly. movie. You fucking bitch ass nigga. For real. Damn, nigga. <laughs> Niggas got no loyalty. And you gonna turn on her? Yeah, or you the gonna trans turn community? on her? Bro, you should be willing to spin in the face That's of every last, trans person. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch made you a millionaire. Bro, get you, the fuck you out of here. You Come literally on. would not have a career if it wasn't for her, bro. That's, That's what I'm crazy. saying. That's the most bitch ass shit I could ever imagine. Damn. That's what I'm saying. Damn, they should all Daniel. refuse to have anything to do with it unless they involve Jake and Rowling. Damn, Daniel. For real. That's some hoe ass shit. I'm not going to lie to hey, you. Hey, that's the best ride Universe Studios. What? What? Even though Yuri got Harry stuck Potter? on it. What do you mean he got stuck on it? I got stuck on it too. What do you mean? It I stopped moving? You definitely need to lose some weight. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. It wasn't. Oh, he wasn't stuck like physically. Like uh. no. <laughs> like the, I was picturing you like walking down a tight like, hallway. Let me go. <laughs> There's no way you're the fattest guy who went there. Yeah, no, not at all. No. Yo, remember that video of that kid <laughs> sliding out of the fucking? Oh, oh yeah, that up. bro. Because I was because oh, I was yeah. I was gonna go to the fair with fucking Token, Yuri, go. and all bro. them, and I was, I, I honestly thought about that video and I stayed my ass at home. You just could just not go on the ride, or Fuck you could no. use the seatbelt. 
He used the seatbelt. Well, I think it, they didn't properly they didn't attach properly it or attach something. He was too big. He was Bro, too big for I it. I don't want to do anything where a seatbelt is the only thing I keeping know. me from being like fired into the ground at 100 miles per hour. Honestly, I love I, roller coasters. I fuck with the roller coasters because I assume that my kid is going to be interested in roller coasters. But on a personal level, do I have any desire to go on roller coasters? No. Mm. I love roller coasters. Like, did you like them at a younger age? Yeah, I mean, I, I did all the roller coasters up to a certain point. Yeah. And then I, like, went on the really scary ones and was like, okay, this is scary, whatever. I don't know if I want to keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, And fact. then at a certain like, point. Like, at what age do no, you get to? But then at, like, 15, I went on one. It made me sick to my stomach or whatever that particular day. It was, like, the first roller coasters ever. <laughs> and then there's dope ones now. No, but, but then I, I just never I did just it again. <laughs> I don't get any enjoyment out of it. Like do you do you like the feeling? Yeah, I don't know. To fun. me, it, bro, like, they have it crazy makes me feel gross. roller coasters. It, hurt, it hurts bro. my neck and shit. Get on like X two. Try that. I don't want to. Let's vlog that shit. Bro, I just want to leave it alone. Not so Magic strong, Mountain is for crazy. other people. You been yeah. to Magic Mountain? Okay, no, we, no. We, he's not ready You've for Magic Mike. You've never been to Magic Mountain? You've been to Magic Mike's? No. <laughs> you, could, you could get some work there. I bet. Oh my god. Jersey Magic Mics. We'd love they, to have you. Jersey Magic, Magic Mics. Jersey Magic Mics where they come out and they got no, their Jersey dicks. Mikes. They got their <laughs> dicks in the <laughs> Do you think I should do a Jersey Magic Mics porn where I get a guy to Yo, put his dick inside it. of a Jersey Mike's? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. I know speaking just of, the guy. Speaking of speaking of porn, I somehow Should it be a six incher or a twelve incher? Wow. I think we'll be fine wait, with six. Spe what? Speaking of porn, I somehow met some nigga who I guess filmed with plug talk with y'all with for with Sky Bree and you banged him. No, he oh, was just thugger? cool. He was cool as fuck. Thugger. Shout out to that nigga. Shout out Thugger. Yeah, he was cool. Shout out to and my free nigga. the thugger. Free th what? No, go to Magic okay. Mountain. Speaking of free thugger, yeah, I'm here to be on my OG suicide shit and yell at Flacco. Oh, oh here we go again. Thank God, I, I almost thought we made it through the podcast without doing that. No, what the fuck? Where did he get this information from? What information? Flacco posted on his Instagram that Young Thug was going to be released this Friday. No, I've seen a bunch of people post that. I think what? It's, it's a rumor, but I've seen a bunch of people post it. It's not uh, like, yeah, he, why, didn't, he didn't like Don't post it. the rumors. You got to post the rumors. Everybody thought YB and Corday was broke up last time we did this podcast. Oh, it was, that was a rumor? Wasn't, she said it wasn't true right after, yeah. Oh. We got to start fact-checking shit. No. But I that, think we should keep But you No, know, that was just like the ASAP Rocky and Rihanna thing where everybody thought it was true for like two, three days. And then that everybody what? realized that it's they not. broke up? Mm. But they, to be fair, they could have just let, they could have said something right away and be like, hey, we didn't break up. But she waited like a full day, let everybody talk their shit. She and wanted then, to see. And then issue a statement. Because sometimes you got to just see who's really fake. And also, she's the one who needs to issue the statement. Because if he says it, then he's going to look thirsty. Oh, Corday? Yeah, because people immediately started mm. trying to go with the narrative of like, oh, she's too good for him or whatever. Oh. You know? Well, he had those weird ass pork chop fucking sideburns. Nigga look like, well, well I think <laughs> when, when you That's saw exactly the sideburns what, yeah. and then you heard that she left him, you're like, well, it made sense, the yeah. sideburns. <laughs> it made sense. It I mean, made sense. That, could be, that could be correct. The sideburns, I mean. Can they? You know. Nigga, the sideburns? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Cut them. Them shits was terrible. He needs to go to Turkey for those. Move those follicles <laughs> to the top. Can you do that? Can I take hair out of my back and put it on my head? Out of your ass crack? Anything. The, the homie that went with T-Rail got see his shit on his beard? Yeah, but can you take it out of your beard and put it on your head? And also, I don't think you'd want to because it's probably yeah. going to be a totally different thing. You're going to have a patchy ass beard, beard uh, lineup. But I have so much I hair that beard. I don't want. You got so much you, what? You got fake beard. Don't talk about it like that. Bro, you really have people think I got fake beard. <laughs> that's like a girl with a... That's like, like, a, like, no, this is crazy. No, that's like a girl with a fake ass selling like workout classes on her story Shit, being like, oh, this up. is how you can look like me. No, bitch, you got surgery. No, you mm. really have people believing that. When they meet me, they be like, I see them looking at the follicles. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. You going to pass that joint or what? No, it's a personal. Oh, okay. I don't pass spliffs. This oh, monkey pox bad. anyway right now. No, yeah, I can't. You hear about bad, that brother. new shit they got now? What? what they said it's the next global pandemic about to happen. Oh, my what? fucking God. Let me. It starts with an L. What is it called? Like, oh, is it Ligma? No. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't want to give me. <laughs> you Suicide, you know about Ligma? <laughs> he nodded. Who's like, I'm slap the shit out of you. <laughs> hey, no, it said China discovers new virus that has the potential to be the next global pandemic. It's called <laughs> Langya. Henny pa virus. It's already affected 35 people. It has the same, it's in the same family as the Hendra virus. And they're saying the uh, fatality rate is 40 to 75%. We're What's fucked. your source? 
uh, Poeta Flaco. Some yeah. reason. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood unlocked. <laughs> I mean, hey, who knows? Uh, but this is the question. Let's say like something just like COVID happens again tomorrow. Like a whole new COVID is basically done. It's like COVID. It's just as bad. It happens again. Are you still coming to work? Or are you gonna be like, no, I'm staying home for a few months, nigga? You know, know. I'm coming to work. You Fuck know, we shit. was here at one yeah, point. We, we never gave at up. At one point, it was me, Adam, and Josh only. I became a freedom. And fighter. me, I was here. COVID, COVID turned no. me into a freedom <laughs> fighter, <laughs> yes, man. The government is not gonna tell me to stay home. I'm coming to the fucking office. I'm making Yuri sick. I'm breathing in his face. I'm spitting in Trev's lunch. I don't. Riley get a fuck. literally just cringed. Well, Riley, you will be hate, dealing with I the consequences. Hate the, uh, <laughs> the, I hate the COVID saga. Yeah, the yeah, COVID saga. The saga. That's him. I, I said saga. 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 Theater saga. Bob Saga. Rest in peace. Yeah. Nah, but fucking. Um... No, this guy telling me get the jab every day. <laughs> You're so selfish if you don't get vaccinated. Can't no. believe you. You do it for your people the and your vaccination, family. The vaccine. You're supposed to be a leader in your community. Let, let the record be clear. The vaccine is the reason why we're back to normal. I never. The got vaccine that. is extremely effective. You never got it. Wow. And you're clearly like the most at risk in the office. Why? Why am I? The, <laughs> what? The Why? Fucking leg is falling off. I'm completely fine. You have a heart attack or something? No. What? <laughs> What's up with this nigga, yo? Anyway, kids, get vaccinated. <laughs> no, um, yeah, get vaccinated. And get for vaccinated real. for monkeypox while you're at it. Yeah, I'm I mean, not getting the monkeypox vaccine. Really? Why not? Why? It's too. Bro, Sounds it's racist. Too much now. It's man. Just too much. Like, Why? bro, it's too I don't give a How fuck. How can you have too much of a good thing? I don't want that shit all over my face, nigga. Give oh, me that vaccine. They're gonna keep, it's going to be keep diseases popping up. You're going to keep saying, get the vaccine if it is. Yo, but the thing get is, the is, thing is, is that it it's mostly popping up in the gay community. So both of you are highly at risk. No, you at risk. No, yeah. no, no. I'm chilling. Yeah, you're going to. I'm chilling. You're you're gonna about have, to start bumping up in five minutes. Let's be real. You guys are both at risk, especially you. You, you about to have somebody <laughs> asshole spread open and fucking AD on plug talk. AD is gay for pay. You're gay for whatever. You're gay for a taco. For a taco, you would fucking do it for a taco. You were born Let's keep gay. It real. Yeah, you fucking. I was born gay. I just made porn today with Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga got on jean shorts. You got on jorts today. You better get on YouTube and watch some shorts today. You wow. get monkey pox. You better not come to work today. You get locked up. You're gonna smoke some ports today. Wow. If you see a man, you might flirt today. You got glasses on. You're looking like a dork today. <laughs> you had two transplants. You went to Turkey Day. <laughs> you're wearing all brown. What, do you think you house phone? <laughs> <laughs> Clown bone. You're looking like a house clone. Ooh. Your bitch called my phone. She got the dial tone. Ooh. Your bitch ain't got no service. She <laughs> needs to use Rome. <laughs> That could have been better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been better, but that shit was kind of whack. I'm about to go to Turkey as soon as my shit get pushed back. Mm. Adam's kind of white, but now he thinks he's black. Don't go to the hood. You're going to get your shit pushed back. Pushed back. Every time you rap, I'm like, God, this shit is whack. Ooh. The homie hit you in the ass. He said he pushed your shit back. He's the same one. I know, yeah. but I said it three different ways. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually very high level rapping. Please give me my accolades. How's not been smoking crack for days? Ooh, oh. that's Weird ass nigga like to eat plain lays. Me and Fredo higher than a bitch. They think we smoking crack. What? Huh? How's fun? You an op? You can go sit on attack. <laughs> I get on a beat. You know I attack. You do hard drugs. Surprised you're not on smack. You had a style, it looked like a pimple. You keep talking, you'll be dead like Shirley Temple. You a cute boy. Oh, about you to pinch your it. dimple. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. You gotta let I, me finish my bar. I thought he had monkey pox. You with a that. Cute boy. I thought You're you had monkey boy. pox, but you really just had pimples. Hmm. Thought you were retarded. It turns out you're just simple. <laughs> you know, house phone like glizzies, but you go to Winchell's. Mm. Mm. I love Winchell's. I might get me a bagel. R.I.P. the bagel. <laughs> I pull up in a regal. Playing Sofago. Woo. And I keep a shooter with me like his name, Tato. I ain't get my watch took like Sofago. No, Damn. that was fake news. Oh, Gina News, Gina <laughs> Views. I saw those pictures the other day. I thought you had fake boobs. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think a nigga Flacco posting about Young Thug getting out. That's fake news. 
I heard you need a colostomy bag. That's a shit too. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you'd be running with the clan. You'd be in a hate crew. Ooh. Nope. I just hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I spit the shit off the dome. I don't need no take two. That was hard. That was hard. And if I see you in the metaverse, I'm going to rape you. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to shoot up your crib, make a video. 1090 JQ. Oh. <laughs> I don't have fake. <laughs> I don't have a fake beard, but I have a fake tooth. I got a talk show. I'll rip Ricky Lake you. Damn. You took us out to dinner for your birthday. You said, "Let me stake you." Mmm. Take house phone out back. <laughs> Let me rape you. <laughs> you trying to steal my bars? They like house phone. He ain't you. Let's talk about your bucket some more. I, I got your up. bitch at the crib and she doing chores. Ooh, I got your bitch at the crib and she's making s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to Melrose. I don't think we should get another store. I pulled up on T-Rail like, is this your store or your girl's <laughs> store? <laughs> Either way, it's underwater. <laughs> oh, no Yo. Man, oh, man. Shout out to oh. Hot Lord. He was <laughs> there <laughs> surfing with his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I seen the meme. I pulled out to Sorella oh. wearing Steve McQueen. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Then Tyga dropped the dono. <laughs> T-Row was getting mad as fuck. He was going loco. Like, I caramba. I'm finna get some food. I might get some fro, yo. You ain't a shooter. You ain't no Tato. You are gay, though. A nigga, AD got on all brown looking like a potato. And your bucket hat looked like it was made with Play-Doh. <laughs> You look like you wake up in the morning and eat egos. You like your best friend is a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> House phone pulled up and he was straight. I was like, "Where'd the gay go?" <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. All right. Is that good? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> give him bars every time now. It's like required. Yeah, fuck. I'm honestly about to. I'm about to start coming with writtens, to be honest. No, we gotta. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was thinking that. We're about to just show up with some not fire even shit. Fair. Yeah, the niggas is drunk. <laughs> niggas gonna drop hey, he's gonna five. come in like I was standing on the corner, right? And I was like, have a whole thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get writers no. from the community? No, you, you know, know what? I'm gonna everybody do. drop house phone bars in the chat. Yes, sir. I love doing that shit. No, five dollars, and I'll use your bars. Honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go to that uh, fucking AD Tim Westwood freestyle and just fucking learn it bar for bar and just come recite it here. Tim Westwood under investigation by the popo. What? Mm. For what? You meant Charlie Sloth? <coughs> yeah. Oh wait, why? Oh yeah. Well, no, Charlie Sloth is who I did this shit with. Oh okay. Um. I don't want to be around. Nobody got investigations. <laughs> Fuck. You Sorry. Better, you better quit this podcast. <laughs> 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 Appreciate y'all. Thank you to everybody who tuned in. Shout out gang, to the uh, the unnamed message board forum, do, 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 which some people do, discuss do, this podcast on. Do, 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 do. Shout out to Josh. The Birkenstocks are looking good. Shout out to Su Suicide on the Corner, rocking them high tops. Are we done? Gang. We out. Gang, gang. Nojumper.com. Hey, are we still on? Yeah. New York and Boston yep. tickets are still available on nojumper.com. Help us sell out. Go cop your tickets now. New York City and Boston. It's, really, it's in like two months. What's the end of September, right? I can't wait to watch this Swamp Stories Exposed video in the car right now. Nojumper.com.